Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics, Invasion of the Heavens, Wanda and Gwen were shocked. Chapter 31, Asshole. You bad guys. Xiao Yu is very angry, and the consequences are serious. After using it on the moose just now, she had already figured out the effect of the spell. If, what if the rat talisman resurrects dead creatures and gives them corresponding abilities? A cunning light flashed in Xiao Yu's eyes, and she turned to look at the large statue at the corner of the stairs. Resurrect his word, we should be able to deal with those weirdos and rescue Uncle Long, right? By the time, she is a great hero. HMTH, I want revenge on Super Moose. Xiao Yu spoke unhappily, and the rat charm in her right hand glowed again. The burst of white light was even more dazzling than the last time. Not good. She's activating the rat charm again. Wolverine's expression changed. He finally got rid of the super moose. He didn't want to run into another opponent. The most important thing was to get the rat talisman as soon as possible and complete the main mission. Stop her. Wolverine rushed forward, trying to interrupt Xiao Yu's actions. But, hey, I'm here too. Uncle Long ran up with a playful smile and fought with all his strength, fighting for precious time for Xiao Yu. Please, please, hurry up. I can't hold it any longer. Single quote. Just when Uncle Long was complaining in his heart, there was finally a strange movement behind him. Russell. The statue has lost its stone exterior. The pale sand surface is colored frame by frame, as if it was painted with an invisible brush. Swish. The sound of wings spreading. Amidst the wind and waves rising from the flat ground, a majestic god slowly woke up from his deep sleep. Who is it? Disturbing my slumber. A deep voice sounded, with a majestic and domineering air. The strong wind swept across, like a real pressure, like a mountain pressing down. Wah, wow, what? Wolverine's pupils shrank, sensing the aura of danger. Not good. Captain America's expression changed slightly, he raised the vibranium shield in his hand and quickly entered defense mode. He looked ahead with a wary expression. An emerald green figure over three meters tall and covered with wings appeared in front of everyone. The towering figure is about to break through the ceiling. There are feather wings on the back, which sway in the wind like streamers. A gentle roll can bring up strong winds and waves. Stared by his cold eyes, Captain America felt like he was being targeted by a prehistoric beast, which was countless times more powerful than the oppression Wolverine had brought to him. It's not just them. Even Uncle Long next to him fell into a daze. Sculpture. The sculpture comes alive. And, the most important is. If he remembered correctly, the sculpture placed at the top of the stairs was just recovered by his father from the flea market. Quetzalcoatl. The god worshipped by the Mayan civilization, the main Mayan god who controls the morning star, calendar, fertility. Cuckoo Caner. Uncle Long's eyes widened and his face almost turned green. Xiao Yu, Xiao Yu. What kind of existence have you created? The power of the rat talisman to turn silence into motion, even if it resurrected the super moose, this time it actually brought out Quetzalcoatl. The terrifying pressure makes it difficult to even breathe. The other party has an evil look on his face. He doesn't look like a righteous partner like a super moose, does he? Is Xiao Yu in danger? Uncle Long bravely stood in front of Xiao Yu and faced the pressure of Quetzalcoatl. No matter how much trouble you have with your own children, you still have to pamper them. But, Uncle Long's slightly offensive behavior unexpectedly did not make Quetzalcoatl angry. Instead, he turned his head. Ignoring his presence, he looked directly behind him, his majestic expression softening a bit. My princess. Really, long time no see. The long tone sounded on Quetzalcoatl, and only when he looked at Xiao Yu. His cold vertical pupils became a little softer, filled with memories and respect. Princess. Xiao Yu was a little confused, pointed at herself, and said in disbelief, Me. Why doesn't she know she still has this identity? That's right, my princess. Quetzalcoatl nodded and said seriously, Did you call me to come because you are in trouble and need help? Your Highness the Princess. Help. Xiao Yu's eyes lit up, Can you help me defeat those guys? Those bad guys bullied Uncle Long and even rushed into Dad's antique shop to steal things. They are so bad. Xiao Yu waved her little fist excitedly, kill these bad guys. She is very vindictive. How dare you break her reindeer, you must make these guys look good. 
Children are the most sensitive to the perception of malice. She can feel that Quetzalcoatl really seems to have no malice towards her. Maybe he can be a helper. Intruder. Quetzalcoatl's eyes narrowed slightly, and he turned his head to look forward, his eyes flashing with a dangerous red light. Not good. Wolverine's whole body tensed up, as if he sensed the message before the storm. This deity sculpture of unknown origin. The unkind glances were obviously malicious towards them. If, what if he is really the legendary Quetzalcoatl? Even Wolverine couldn't help but change his expression at the thought of fighting the legendary North American god. However, before he could think of a way to deal with it, the cold tone from the other side rang in my ears again, like the chilling autumn wind, carrying a murderous intent. My princess, as you wish, Quetzalcoatl saluted elegantly towards Xiaoyu. After turning to look at Wolverine and the others, his smile turned cold, despicable intruders should be expelled. The permeating murderous intent caused the surrounding temperature to plummet, as if entering the cold winter of the twelfth lunar month. Maybe Captain America has already chosen a side. The terrifying pressure, like consciousness, deliberately bypassed him, and all the pressure was on Wolverine. Is this the test of not choosing a camp? Wolverine gritted his teeth. Now, there is no time for regrets. Ahead, Quetzalcoatl raised his hands flat, and terrifying green light waves bloomed. The extremely rich energy turned into a wave attack visible to the naked eye. It surged like a tidal wave sweeping across, with the aura of a scornful army. Quetzalcoatl, Kukukano. In addition to the priesthood of abundance, he is also the legendary lord of all arms. God of gods. The battle between gods and humans. Here we go. Wu Sao. Is this accelerating to a battle between gods? Hiss. It's too, too outrageous. Quetzalcoatl actually exists. OMG, what about God? My God. You can really see everything after living for a long time, even a battle between gods and humans. How ridiculous. Where is the urban world that was promised? This is unscientific. Oh my God. Newton's coffin board can't hold it anymore. That's outrageous. Where's the treasure hunting adventure we promised? Why did even the Mayan god show up? The outbreak of the shocking battle instantly made the internet a buzz. Now, the victory of the battle is no longer important. Compared with the momentary victory or defeat, what is more important is Quetzalcoatl Kukukainer. This mythical main god actually appeared. And, right in front of their eyes, a divine battle broke out. Watching the live broadcast, they seemed to be witnessing the legend. The boiling network suddenly became dead. Intel. A barrage quietly crossed the screen. Hey, no one cares about the rat charm that brought Quetzalcoatl to life. It can resurrect an ordinary statue and transform the existence carved on it into a real life. It also has legendary strength. This kind of power. Huge amounts of shock make people speechless for a moment and unable to speak at all. The spell actually exists. And it works. Nick Fury's pupils shrank, and even he, who was extremely wealthy, could not hide the shock and shock on his face. Rat charm. It is real and has the ability to turn stillness into movement. Regarding this, Nick Fury has already had a guess in his heart. Even if it is confirmed, he will only be amazed at the strange effect of the treasure. After all, they, S.H.I.E.L.D., have also obtained the, 6th Marine style, a martial arts skill that is beyond common sense. But, it doesn't mean that he can accept it. The rat charm can transform the idol into a real god. A little girl can summon the legendary gods by just finding a statue of a god and activating the power of the rat charm. And does the life form transformed from the statue really have the legendary power? Isn't this too outrageous? Even in the magical world, we have to be reasonable, right? Coach, I report it, someone is cheating. Nick Fury watched the live broadcast blankly, his eyes dull, feeling that his worldview had been reshaped. It's not science, it's magic. The corners of Tony's mouth twitched. The T-virus transformation technology in his hand was instantly inferior to that of the rat charm. The world is changing with each passing day. It is really uncomfortable. The trump card reward that I just got feels like it has not yet warmed up, and it will become a version abandonment. Conventional methods of becoming stronger cannot keep up with the fusion of the times. And, turn stillness into movement. Give life to dead things and possess legendary powers. Tony couldn't help but glance out the French window. 
As the tallest building in New York, Tony has a panoramic view and can take in all the scenery of New York. Including New York, Liberty Island, that landmark building. Made of 120 tons of steel as a skeleton, weighing hundreds of thousands of pounds, holding a torch and a book, the Statue of Liberty. To some extent, him, it's also a sculpture. Such great power. Such an effect. We in the military must get this thing. Roars rang out from the conference room. Greedy eyes filled the entire venue, and their eyes were full of scarlet bloodshot eyes, like a hungry wolf with red eyes. Just now, the senior military officials who also scorned the rat talisman and said it was a fake gimmick were all slapped in the face. Their eyes were filled with greed, and they wanted to rush into the video and snatch the talisman from Xiaoyu's hand. But, it seems that there are no people from us among the recruits this time. You don't even have the qualifications to participate, so what's the point of competing? You can't even pass the threshold. A weak voice sounded from the crowd, causing others to look at him angrily, wanting to eat him. What nonsense are you talking about? Isn't this why the pot should be lifted if it is not opened? If they can't grab anything, why don't they let them fantasize about it? Asgard, Quetzalcoatl, Cuckoo Caner. Odin's face moved slightly, and he looked up at the sky, his eyes seeming to penetrate space. Among the gods, there is indeed a place for Quetzalcoatl. And, he is still one of the main gods, and his strength is not weak. Unexpectedly, their legend is also spread in another world. If, if Quetzalcoatl exists, so are they Asgard as well. Just when Odin lowered his eyebrows and lowered his eyes, thinking deeply. In my ears, came Loki's voice. Thor, that idiot, started fighting again. Fight, fight, fight. His brain is all about muscles. Loki gritted his teeth angrily. His emerald green eyes stared at the live broadcast, with a trace of undetectable worry on his face. Thor has no brains. This time, he actually faced off against Quetzalcoatl. A person's name, a tree's shadow, after all, are also the main god of a pantheon. This is no small thing. Ha ha. Odin chuckled. Seeing the worry on Loki's face that he didn't even notice, Odin's solemn mood suddenly relaxed, and he smiled and said loudly, Don't worry, Thor is fine. It's just a shadow. It only possesses a fraction of the power of the real body, so it's not in full strength. Odin shook his head and said confidently, With Thor's strength, it is not difficult to deal with a resurrected duplication. Quote. Although his son was reckless and aggressive, he did not have the wisdom and stability that a king should have. But, Odin never doubted Thor's strength. Brainless. But that doesn't mean he is weak. Especially, what Thor faced this time was just a duplication. Unknown god duplication. Boom. Boom. Emerald green light waves swept across like a tidal wave. Quetzalcoatl opened his hands, and terrifying energy waves bloomed from his hands, impacting towards Wolverine, like waves crashing on the shore, covering him forcefully. Since ancient times, the right side of the wave has won. Quetzalcoatl, who occupies a favorable position, is definitely at the upper hand. Especially, Wolverine generally prefers physical attacks and has very little knowledge of the mystical side. He was hit by Quetzalcoatl's magical attacks and quickly stopped playing. The self-healing factor, adamantium, is indeed very strong and can withstand endless attacks, turning him into an invincible little strongman with terrifying resilience. But, Quetzalcoatl doesn't need to kill him. Seal. Confinement. It can also solve problems. Hateful. Asshole. Amidst the angry scolding, the rope turned into green light waves continued to tighten, locking him inside. Directly, unable to move. Just when people were eating melons, they thought the dust had settled. When the fun ends, Zilla, Zilla, dazzling thunder suddenly lit up from a distance. Wow, rumble, lightning fell from the sky, and after the flashing arc was extinguished, someone discovered that there was a human figure standing in the lightning. A god from a foreign land. Why do you want to set foot on my territory? Facing Captain America and his group, Quetzalcoatl, who had a calm expression, finally changed his expression. His eyes were slightly focused, and his face was wary. His expression became obviously serious, and he obviously sensed a threat from the other party. Why? Definitely a fight. Give me a hearty fight. Thor stepped out of the lightning. The flashing arc of electricity covered his bulging muscles, as if he was wearing a layer of thunder armor. 
That's right. He is here to fight. Unlike Wolverine and others, they are either looking for spells, saving the world, or getting rewards. Thor's purpose is simple. Just fight. Perceiving the high ability field that exploded, he rushed over quickly. If you can harvest a rat charm to complete the mission after a hardy battle, that would be the best result, and it would be most in line with Thor's concept of war. Campaign. Plunder. Spread the glory. Become a new king. I was so weak just now. I hope you can give me a little surprise, Thor grinned, showing a muscular smile. The fighting spirit in his eyes burned like fire. This idiot. Loki gritted his teeth and his expression was a little distorted. His worries just now were indeed unnecessary. I, you actually worry about this idiot Thor. Am I also infected by Thor's IQ? No, I must have brain damage. Loki's mouth twitched. Boom. Brilliant thunder exploded in the air. The deep purple high voltage electric current seems to have liquefied into substance, turning into hot plasma pouring out. In the air, they are all filled with traces of the constant collision of positive and negative charges. If you get a little closer, you can feel the hair flying, as if being penetrated by electric charges. Thor. Totally serious. Come. Under the surging power of thunder, Thor's armor jumped out of the void and was draped on Thor. Holding Mjolnir and wearing Thor battle suit. After completely entering the fighting posture, Quetzalcoatl's expression couldn't help but become solemn. He. I can already feel the threatening aura in Thor. The emerald green energy swept wildly, and he could not avoid it, so he could only forcefully start to deal with the waves. Quetzalcoatl's true form may be very strong. But. It's a pity that he is now just a duplication resurrected by the rat charm. His foundation is a stone statue carved by a craftsman. His power is always limited, far less than the peak. As expected. As the fighting continues to intensify. Quetzalcoatl began to show signs of decline that were visible to the naked eye. Not only was the battle becoming more and more difficult, but there were also more and more scars on his body. The violent thunder left scorch marks on his body, and his movements became slower and slower. The balance of victory begins to tilt. Wrigley. He won't lose, right? How could he lose? Isn't he Quetzalcoatl? How can such a majestic god be so useless? Hateful. In the conference room, there was the sound of teacups being smashed. A group of people watched the live broadcast in shock and anger. His face was filled with anger, but he couldn't change it, so he could only be helpless and furious. Once Thor was victorious and the talisman fell into his hands, the conspiracy they had secretly planned before would be completely ruined. This man, not a mutant, would be affected by their petty tactics. Until now. None of them found Thor's identity, making Thor's self-proclaimed identity increasingly believable and things becoming more and more difficult. After eliminating all possibilities, the only remaining direction, no matter how outrageous, will become the truth. He is a god, Nordic Thor Thor. Moreover, he is the son of God King Odin and the crown prince of Asgard. Why should they, these little losers, threaten others? If they are not careful, it will be a planet-level diplomatic accident. Not to mention the military they represent, not even the entire empire dares to act rashly. Hateful. Treasure, reward. The high-ranking military officials clenched their back molars, and the blazing fire of greed was like a bucket of cold water being poured on their heads. It was extinguished in an instant and turned into a piece of ice. There was only despair on their unwilling faces. Now, play off. All conspiracies and tricks are no different from paper under this kind of power. Nordic Thor, God's crown prince. Nick Fury sighed quietly, and the wrinkles on his face became deeper. The news that came one after another put more and more pressure on him, as if he was carrying a mountain boulder. But, because of Captain America's problem, S.H.I.E.L.D. was not in a dominant position to begin with, so he didn't have high hopes for this reward. He could barely withstand it, but it was a pity that he missed this opportunity. Also, is the legend true? Is there really a god? Nick Fury frowned, feeling the pressure on his shoulders getting a little heavier. We need to think of a way to deal with it as soon as possible. How to contact the third type of creature? Phil Coulson. Collect relevant information about the Nordic gods as soon as possible. We will mobilize scholars related to Nordic folklore, history, and mythology to sort out the relationships and personalities of the Nordic gods from the legends as soon as possible.
I want the most comprehensive first-hand information. This is related to the fate of the earth, and we must not slack off. Now, time is life. Hurry, Nick Fury's deep voice sounded. Compared with gods who have no desires and desires, he firmly believes that the so-called gods are some kind of higher-level human beings who have emotions and have opportunities. This may also be their opportunity to shield. Hateful. Storm slapped the table angrily, waves of storm surging around her. The great situation collapsed in an instant. Thor suddenly came out and penetrated the battlefield directly. No one was his opponent. If this continues, the ownership of the rat talisman is basically determined. It's not just the X-Men who are dissatisfied, the cooked duck has flown away. Even Professor X looked solemn. Chance. It just disappeared before my eyes. It's a pity. Professor X sighed, with a look of loneliness on his face. Things have come to this. Thor's invincible strength has been confirmed. Quetzalcoatl, which is just a duplication, has short-lasting power and is no match for Thor. The material of the stone statue was too ordinary, and it could not exert the true power of the rat charm and could not carry more power. As a result, the revived Quetzalcoatl was too weak, far less powerful than it was in its heyday, and unable to compete with Thor. Pretty. Loki pumped his fist excitedly, a cunning light flashing in his eyes. After rolling his eyes, countless tricks appeared one after another. With his wisdom, if he wants to cheat the reward from Thor, it won't be a matter of minutes. It's not that simple. Odin shook his head and sighed. Looking at the live broadcast with one eye, his casual expression suddenly turned serious. Lean forward and sit slightly upright. He, he felt an energy wave that made him look at him. Coming on stage. Hey, what are you guys doing? Dad's antiques are very expensive. Just when Thor and Quetzalcoatl gradually gained the upper hand, they were about to finish off each other and secure victory. A slightly older voice with a hoarse tone sounded from behind. A little old man wearing a white shirt and a yellow vest swayed down from the attic. Leaning out of the stairs. You can see that the other party has grey silver hair on his head, small round eyes, and extremely sharp eyes. He is very old, but his body is not old at all. On the contrary, he has a feeling of hale and hearty. Old man. Thor raised an eyebrow. Old man. Captain America's expression tightened, and there was some worry in his eyes. Eh. Hey, dad. Why did you come out? Uncle Long and Xiao Yu tilted their heads, and their anxious hearts suddenly calmed down a lot, as if they had a backbone. Snort. Dad snorted coldly and said angrily, If you don't come out again, all of dad's antiques will be destroyed by you. Dad covered his chest with one hand and pointed at the mess around him, feeling heartbroken. Captain America, Wolverine, Uncle Long. Continuous battles. Coupled with the final resurgence of Quetzalcoatl, constant unconventional battles, and finally the unexpected guest Thor, the battle situation continued to escalate. Even if they restrained, the aftermath of the battle was enough to destroy countless people. The horrific aftermath was like a passing storm, leaving the store in a mess. If dad doesn't come out and let the aftermath continue to rage, it won't be long before this place will be completely reduced to ruins. These antiques. Dad slapped the table and emphasized, with a rather unhappy look on his face, dad spent a lot of time collecting them all. Especially, when he turned his head. Looking forward, he saw the revived Queen Quetzalcoatl. Xiao Yu. Dad roared at the top of his lungs. Xiao Yu, who was next to him, shivered in fright stuck out his tongue, pretended to be pitiful, widened his eyes, and tried to escape by acting cute. Dad, I'm here, I'm all I'm here for Uncle Long. Hey hey hey, spell, how many times has dad said that the power of a charm must not be abused? He glared at Xiao Yu with a playful smile and said angrily. As he walked over quickly, he reached out and patted it, taking back the rat charm in Xiao Yu's hand. The power of the twelve talismans comes from the Holy Lord. It is not a toy for children to play with. The father frowned, with a rather unhappy look on his face, and put away the rat talisman with one hand, this kind of power must be kept properly. Holy Lord, Captain America's eyes were focused, as if he had caught some key words. His face was expressionless, his mind was filled with thoughts. But, Uncle Long met bad guys. Those guys don't have martial ethics. They come to steal, rob, and bully Uncle Long. Xiao Yu pointed at Uncle Long who was looking embarrassed next to him. 
With his eyes wide open pitifully, he said, they are also here to steal the rat talisman. They must be the holy lord's men. After being naughty and mischievous for so long, her skills of pretending to be pitiful have long been maxed out. HMPH. The father breathed out from his nostrils. He did not accept this trick, and he did not trust Xiaoyu so easily. He shook his head and said, they have nothing to do with the holy lord, and there are no traces of demonic energy on their bodies. As a contemporary magician, dad has his own way of identifying demons. But, after turning to look at Thor and the others, his eyes couldn't help but become sharper. Are these guys bullying Xiao Yu? Hello, old man, stay away. Otherwise, I will not be responsible if you are affected by the battle. Thor, who heard the movement, also looked over. He saw a thin old man with white hair, who posed no threat to him. He told them to stay away to avoid being affected, but Thor just didn't want to attack the weak. Turning around, he looked at Quetzalcoatl. Now, it's time to end the battle. He was almost tired of warming up for so long, and planned to end the battle with a final word, call it a day and return to Asgard. However, just when he was about to take action with the thunder, his father moved. The thin old man glanced at Thor, shook his head in disapproval and said, only magic can defeat magic. At some point two dried puffer fish appeared on his hand, pointing to Thor, and Quetzalcoatl on the other side. Next moment, a faint green light blooms on the dried puffer fish. Dad said that only magic can defeat magic. A mocking tone sounded. It's a familiar taste and a familiar recipe. Wu Sao, this old man is so tough. Do you dare to rush forward in this situation? Hey, could he be the hidden boss? Boss, are you kidding? He's just a little old man. He doesn't have the temperament of my second uncle. How dare you rush up at this time? I think he has Alzheimer's disease. Tisk, God is nagging, what magic is not magic? Whose magic is released with dried puffer fish? That's right, that's right. At least get a wand out. This is too confusing. Dad's step forward made the melon eaters explode. Some people even reached out and covered their eyes, unable to bear to look at the bloody scene below. If a dry old man steps into this kind of battlefield, he can even imagine how miserable the consequences will be. Attacks on the battlefield are tricky. However, the next scene, but it surprised countless people. The monsters and ghosts leave quickly. The monsters and ghosts leave quickly. Dad chanted his mantra, holding dried puffer fish in his hand, and his flexible body began to dance the great dance. As the movement becomes larger, the green light blooming on the puffer fish becomes more and more obvious. Whoosh, whoosh, two streams of light shot out. One hit Quetzalcoatl and the other hit Thor. The two people in the fierce battle were instantly separated by dad's magic, and the green light continued to wrap around and shrink inward. The terrifying energy is becoming more and more powerful, and the power of magic is becoming more and more terrifying. In process. Thor and Quetzalcoatl were completely defenseless and could only watch as the magic became stronger. It didn't take long. With a crisp sound of, wave. A crack suddenly appeared in the sky, the space-time tunnel was opened, and Quetzalcoatl was forcibly drawn into it under the impact of magic power. Ah. After a scream, Quetzalcoatl. Banished. A battle between dragons and tigers. Just like that, it ended in an anticlimactic way. All around. There was silence. Except for Uncle Xiao Yulong who was accustomed to it, everyone else was stunned. It was as if he was shocked by his father's victory. But, outside world. But it exploded instantly. Shield. Jingle bell clang clang. Crash. A group of people couldn't sit still and fell under the table in shock, bringing the things on the table with them, making the conference room noisy and chaotic like a vegetable market. Even the usually calm Nick Fury couldn't help but spew a curse word. What is this? With two spells to fool children and two dried puffer fish, can the majestic Quetzalcoatl and the Nordic Thor be eliminated? Is there anything more outrageous than this in the world? After experiencing so many shocks, Nick Fury thought his worldview was tough enough. But, this time, still can't resist. Three views, broken. Already know the spell is, demons and ghosts leave quickly, demons and ghosts leave quickly. If we also take out dried puffer fish, can we have the same power? As S-H-I-E-L-D's ace. Expel Quetzalcoatl, defeat Thor, deal with superpowers.
Nick Fury kept mumbling to himself, and his mental state was very doubtful. Phil Coulson wants to say you're thinking shit. But, for the sake of USD, he still held back. If I say it directly, my bonus will definitely be lost if Director Luden gets angry, right? It will definitely happen. The corner of Phil Coulson's mouth twitched. Magic, magic, you call this magic. As the saying goes, laymen see the excitement, while insiders see the way. However, this time, as an expert, Modu could only express that he did not understand. You can easily seal and banish someone by taking a dried puffer fish and chanting two spells. What kind of magic is this? And, this curse has no rules at all, it's just like tricking a child. More than just Kamar Taj's countless magicians, apprentices. Even the ancient one standing above. At this moment, she couldn't help but remain silent. Could it be that she had been in seclusion for too long and could no longer keep up with the times? Has the world outside developed to this extent? Fake magic, open the portal with one hand, and fight with a magic weapon in the other hand. Real magic, holding a dried puffer fish and chanting incantations, no matter whether you are a ghost or a monster, you will be sealed and exiled. It's just, outrageous. Even the ancient one, whose face was calm and unchanged for thousands of years, couldn't hold back this time. Hell. Magic. Expulsion. Demon. Hiss. After watching the live broadcast of Mephisto, I couldn't help but take a breath and felt bad. It's about expelling magic and restraining evil spirits. This magic. It's obvious that you are here for him. No. I have to hide deeper. Mephisto gritted his teeth and instantly gave up the idea of going to the human world not wanting to take a trip into this muddy water. I am more determined to find an agent. Um, that's right. That's it. I'm a new age demon. I'm already behind the times when it comes to fighting and killing. I need to find new tricks. A wisp of demonic energy quietly rose from his body. Climb along the cracks in the world. Depend on. Is this the Jungchi camp? Is this the Jungfang boss? Wolverine's eyes widened. I almost couldn't help but swear. You should have known earlier that if the righteousness camp is so strong, he would still be a hesitation. It seemed that Quetzalcoatl, who was so coaxed, didn't last even a minute before he was sent into an alien space by his father's magic. Thor on the other side was not much better. The power of thunder surged, but it could not break free. Instead, the green magic light wave became stronger and stronger. The situation has become a foregone conclusion. Thor will definitely lose. And aside, after finishing Quetzalcoatl, the father who had his hands free was already looking at him with an evil look. I choose the righteous camp. Wolverine roared in his head without thinking. Press options every minute. Ding. Side mission, good evil choice, completed. Reward, 500 points. Fortunately, the system did not drop the chain and gave timely feedback. Wolverine could clearly feel his father's hostility towards him, which immediately dissipated. He had no doubt, if he had been later, he would most likely have followed in the footsteps of Quetzalcoatl and been banished and sunk. He's not Thor, who can withstand a beating. And, even Thor, I can't stand it anymore. Old man over there, I, Thor Thor, recognize your strength. Thor forced himself to speak. He refuses to admit defeat, but he is honest in his heart. I choose the righteous camp. After noticing the changes in Wolverine, Thor made a conscious choice. He is a tough guy. But I'm not stupid. If you still fight head on even though you know you are not your opponent, there is something wrong with your brain. The invasion has just begun. He didn't want to be exiled to an alien space like Quetzalcoatl. It was pitch black and not a good place at first glance. Ding. Side mission, good evil choice, completed. Reward, 500 points. Thor stared at his father nervously. He was more concerned about the effect of choosing a camp than the 500-point reward. Really, the system is still as powerful as ever. Just after the system beeps sounded, the father who was waving the dried blowfish suddenly stopped his dance. The magic power was suddenly withdrawn, and the restraint on Thor's body also dissipated. Come alive. Thor couldn't help but sigh in relief as his feet hit the ground again. A. Hey, Dad. Why don't you get rid of these guys together? They are the bad guys who bully Uncle Long. Xiao Yu came over with a look of displeasure on her face, they even broke my super moose. Xiao Yu waved her little fists angrily. 
I think we should banish them, just like Quetzalcoatl. Um, regarding Xiao Yu's suggestion, Dad shook his head. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Misunderstand. After the battle, Uncle Long also came over. That's right. The father nodded, I have just noticed that they have an aura that is unknown to Death God. Perhaps the unknown Death God sensed that the Holy Lord had broken free and sent a divine messenger. The previous conflict must have been a misunderstanding. Isn't Death God clear? Messenger of God. Captain America and Wolverine couldn't help but look at each other. His mind was spinning fast and he had already realized that this should be the identity given by the system after selecting the camp. But, isn't Death God clear? Could it be that there really is no Death God in this world? Wolverine's eyes were filled with horror. A man like Thor is a pretty strong man at best. Wolverine would never worship him as a god. However, even his father, whose strength is unpredictable, said such things. He, I can't help but waver. Could it be? Is there really any unexplained death in this world? Not a powerful man like Thor who claims to be a god, but a real god. Death God doesn't know, it definitely exists. The father said angrily, although the eight unknown death gods have disappeared in the long river of time, they did exist, and they left behind eight tokens of gods, which can easily seal the eight demons against them. These tokens are also proof of their existence. Dad affirmed, but, they have disappeared for so long, are they still alive? Can they still send envoys? Uncle Long hesitated. Before he finished speaking, his father took a feather duster and beat him violently. Idiot. Idiot. Unless the death god obviously has infinite power and infinite lifespan, how could he die? They say they don't understand the death god. Idiot. They must be in a higher dimension, watching the world. Dad jumped angrily. I feel tired of this idiot nephew. Immortal. Infinite lifespan. Ancient one's pupils shrank, and only she, who was troubled by her lifespan, knew the value of these words. Protect the earth from being eroded by other dimensions for many years. She has witnessed countless strong men. Except for Dormammu, who merges into the original dimension, abandons human identity, and becomes a conceptual entity. Other strong men. No matter how strong one is, there is a lifespan limit. No matter how strong you are. As long as their lifespan reaches the end, they have to face death head on. This is better than her own situation, or the planet's incarnation, ego. Even. The same goes for a certain god king next door. Fighting in the nine realms, his fame resounds throughout the universe, but he will eventually bow before his lifespan. Real. Are there immortal gods? Odin sighed quietly. The self-proclaimed god race also has a lifespan limit, but it is longer than other races, only 5,000 years. However, compared with the boundless universe, it is too small, as small as a firefly. Even him, also bound by lifespan. The inconvenience of this world actually has what can be called an infinite lifespan. The battle that lasted for countless years and was even erased by time has a heavy epic feel to it. However, it is such a terrifying unexplained world, such a profound world. Actually. The system can be easily invaded. Even the invading conscripts were labeled as messengers of the gods. This was an in-your-face NTR. In comparison, the cognitive changes in the resident evil world. The system expressiveness of this world is even more terrifying to think about. Especially, when Odin realized that his father's strength was unfathomable, and in some aspects, he was even as good as himself. System. Who the hell is this? Odin was speechless in shock, and the fear in his heart was about to take shape. Can't help but hold on to the eternal spear. This invincible magic weapon rarely gave him a sense of security. The big guys were shocked, but the melon-eating masses knew nothing about it. They were still cracking melon seeds, watching the show, and listening to their father telling stories with great interest. So, is this the balance of good and evil, a struggle that has lasted for thousands of years? Captain America opened his mouth. Somewhat shocked. After settling the matter, Dad's attitude towards them has obviously softened a lot due to their choice of camp. Not only was there no hostility as before, but they were also very kind, as if they really regarded them as messengers of gods. After answering Uncle Long's words, Dad talked about the past history of this world. The eight great demons. Unknown to death god. Holy lord. Lope. Twelve talismans. 
The cliché content is absolutely rained from heaven for Captain America and the others. It's not easy. Finally, I found the organization. Maybe it's the main science popularization. Maybe it's because dad is old and likes to talk nonsense. Anyway, let's communicate. They finally knew the general situation of this world, especially the relationship between the Holy Lord and the Twelve Talismans, and the balancing mechanism of righteousness and demonic energy. They were no longer confused about the mission. They were no longer confused about the world. Discredit. That's right. Good and evil generally tend to be in balance. Once there is an imbalance, the other party will inevitably change quickly. I can sense that the evil energy is gradually recovering. Perhaps, the death god sent you to appear just to strengthen the power of righteousness. Dad nodded, his eyes softening a lot. Especially, look at Captain America. He could feel the pure kindness in the other person's heart. The twelve talismans have powerful power and are treasures separated from the Holy Lord. If we can collect all the talismans, we can easily deal with the Holy Lord and seal him again. Spell. Is this the amulet? Captain America looked at the rat talisman curiously. He didn't expect that a seemingly ordinary stone could have such powerful power. It was as if he noticed Captain America's curious gaze. Xiao Yu innocently raised her head and handed over the rat charm as if showing off her treasure. As the only person in the trio who didn't attack her and who was the first to like her, Xiao Yu's sense of Captain America was quite good, so it wasn't a big deal to show the spell to a good friend. Anyway, Dad is right next to you, and he will be there to protect you if anything happens. Well, Captain America was a little surprised by Xiao Yu's behavior, but he still reached out his hand to take it honestly. The moment you get it. Ding. Side mission. Collect rat charms. Completed. Brief description. Obtain Xiao Yu's trust and successfully obtain the rat charm from her. Task evaluation. Sea level. Acquire the ability to degrade and turn death into life. The deterioration product analyzed from the rat talisman can give life to dead objects, turn death into life, and gain absolute loyalty. Note. Based on the mission evaluation, recruits can obtain rewards such as deterioration, normal, strengthening, etc. The higher the evaluation, the more powerful the ability obtained. Award. Is this it? Captain America opened his mouth wide in disbelief. Didn't he just take the talisman from Xiao Yu's hand? How did you complete the task? Captain America, who received the reward in a daze, picked up a stone and activated his ability almost instinctively. Turn death into life. Buzz. Invisible fluctuations flashed by. The stone actually grew arms and legs out of thin air and began to limp away. The movement is lame, but it definitely moves. Live. Come alive. Uncle Long pointed at the palm-sized stone man and his eyes widened. Dad was not surprised at all. Instead, he looked at Captain America thoughtfully, transforming death into life. Is it similar to the power of the rat talisman? He is indeed an inexplicable messenger. Even the power of the talisman can be easily used. And, it seems to be more magical than the effect of the rat charm. Dad nodded. I became more aware of their identity. The rat charm cannot bring life to the stones that can be seen everywhere. Compared to the calm father. Outside world. It can be said that it exploded instantly. All go. What's going on? The stone has come to life. Oh my god, I've never heard of it. Captain America is also a mutant, and he can transform into a stone man. What kind of super ability is this? Is there an idiot upstairs? This is obviously a system reward. Transforming death into life. The power of the rat talisman can be easily reproduced like this. The system is too awesome. Countless people watched the live broadcast, their eyes almost turned red. It's all envy, jealousy and hatred. Turn death into life. Letting dead things have life is like a fortress. Hey hey hey, have you noticed that this seems to be the lowest reward? Don't forget, Captain America's mission evaluation is sea level. The worst reward gives him the power to turn death into life. If it is a high level evaluation, then the reward. Looking at the barrage floating by. Countless people couldn't help but imagine this possibility. However, Mengxin is still looking forward to hope. The veterans watched the live broadcast attentively. As long as it is the system output, even if the ability is degraded, it must not be underestimated. Who knows if there will be any surprises. It's not as exaggerated as you think. 
Captain America scratched his head. My ability cannot reach the level of the rat charm, which can revive the statue and have the legendary strength. Since everyone is in the same camp, there is no need to hide too much. Captain America candidly stated his shortcomings. No, not that simple. Wolverine pointed at the stone man on the ground and disagreed. The resurrected stone man will be completely obedient to you. The talisman cannot do this. The effect of the rat charm is indeed strong, but it is also extremely uncertain. The previously resurrected Quetzalcoatl, if it weren't for Xiaoyu's special situation, when Quetzalcoatl wakes up, the first ones to be killed are these intruders holding talismans. No matter how powerful the power is, as long as it cannot be fully controlled, its value will be greatly reduced. Not only that, using this ability, you consume almost nothing. Thor, who is crossing his arms, also spoke. His experience in many battles allowed him to quickly discover the clues. A few people said a few words. Coupled with Captain America's magnanimous character, the situation was quickly analyzed. Can be used without restrictions. Resurrection products are absolutely loyal. There is no restriction on the objects to be used, and it can be used in a wide range. The superimposed effect of these points is already exaggerated. If the right development direction can be found, the effect of this ability will definitely make people feel chilling. Fortunately, the control is in Captain America's hands. At the same time, I don't know how many people side similarly in their hearts. Sea level. Can the simplest reward achieve this level? Nick Fury's heart felt hot. I wish I could rush in on the spot and grab a few more. Do not forget. Spell. But there are 12 of them. If. Can I get the enhanced version of ability? Nick Fury's eyes were red. The more advanced ability, just thinking about it, made his breathing quicken. Tisk. Perfect level. Coward Nick Fury can only think about it. Sushu really got the highest award. Ding. Steve obtains, degraded version, turning death into life. Increased by 100 times. Congratulations to the host for getting the perfect version, turning death into life. Analysis of the ability of the rat talisman, after obtaining the system increase, it is completely transformed. Giving dead things life and, intelligence. Sushu murmured to himself. Compared with the original effect of the rat spell, the ability he gained has been improved in all aspects. If the rat talisman can only reproduce one-tenth of the legendary ability of a statue, his resurrected existence can be infinitely close to the legend. As long as the carrier is strong enough, even a one-to-one -one reproduction is not impossible. And, compared to the effect of the rat charm, what he resurrected is even more important. Wisdom. Not only did they obey unconditionally, but they also possessed real wisdom and gave them real life. You can learn, you can practice, you can become stronger, you can reproduce. It is a real life, not a puppet that only follows orders. See this. His first thought was, immortal enlightenment. No. Sushu quickly shook his head. This was more powerful than the legendary immortal enlightenment. Using this ability, like Captain America, he had almost no consumption and could use it as he pleased. That is to say, as long as he wants. Sushu can even do it, create countless races by one person. And now, he had something imperative to do. The Red Queen. I will give you real life. Time flies. When Captain America and his team gathered in Dad's antique shop to study the newly acquired ability and discuss their next actions and how to deal with the Holy Lord, time passed like water. The next day came quickly. New fluctuations finally appeared on the small map that had been pretending to be dead. Ding. Trigger new spell clues. Twelve talisman pigs. Please collect spells as soon as possible and complete the main mission. Pig spell. Represents the power of laser, which can cause the holder's eyes to emit lightning and destroy everything. New spell. Pig charm. Several people's eyes lit up and they became stunned instantly. Although, the effect of the pig talisman seems to be inferior to that of the pig talisman. One releases electric light, and the other turns stillness into motion, which are completely different levels. But, no matter how bad it is, it's better than nothing. Maybe, I can get a high-level evaluation and get high-level ability. They have long been covetous of Captain America's ability. Can't miss it again. Wolverine's eyes narrowed, and he quickly made up his mind and rushed towards the new coordinates. 
Captain America followed closely behind, gritting his teeth and catching up, unwilling to fall behind. Hem. Thor curled his lips in displeasure and finally followed. Soon, dispersed in a hurry. Hey, Dad, why did they all leave suddenly? Xiao Yu raised her head curiously. Perhaps, is it an unknown mission? Dad stroked his goatee and asked with some uncertainty. But wait until he turns his head. Seeing Uncle Long standing blankly next to him, his temper was not so good. Hey, what are you doing standing here? Why don't you go and pack things up for Dad? How can Dad open the shop when the shop is in such a mess? The customers are scared away. Dad glared at Uncle Long. He pulled out a feather duster from nowhere in his hand and smashed it towards his head and face. Oops. Don't fight. Don't fight. I'll take care of you right now. Hiss. It hurts, Dad. Uncle Long grinned and jumped up, like a nimble rabbit. Suddenly, there was a chaos in the antique store. The high-octane farce made Xiao Yu laugh and soon forgot what had just happened. The father was left with a frown on his face and a trace of worry in his eyes. Backstreet. Old Alley. A charred humanoid charcoal wriggled its way out of the huddle of people. Hands struggling randomly. It was like touching some hard unknown object. Pig. Spell. Laser. Power. Cyclops got up from the ground unsteadily, his mind still not clear. Although Thor did not kill him, the stimulation of the lightning strike was obviously not something that humans could easily bear. High voltage electric current surged through the body, and it took a long time before Cyclops finally regained his breath. But, before he could do anything, I didn't know when I found an octagonal stone in my hand, with a simple outline of a pig pattern using crimson paint. Seems to be. When I first got up, I struggled wildly in order to find support. Did you touch it from those people? Cyclops glanced at Valone's messy clothes at his feet, and enlightenment arose in his heart. Breathing heavily. After regaining some physical strength, my brain gradually started to function. Cyclops finally thought of the system beat that woke him up from his coma just now. Looking at the thing in his hand, he was suddenly confused again. Pig charm. Here. In my hand, Cyclops opened his right hand in disbelief and looked at the stone charm in his palm. His voice was inexplicably hoarse, as if he was restraining something. The surprise of pie in the sky made him lose consciousness for a while. This is so exciting, even more exciting than being crushed by Thor. The body couldn't help but tremble slightly. It was caused by the stimulation of thunder and lightning, but it was more of a surprise. Knocked out. When I woke up while lying on the ground, I found that the mission props were automatically delivered to my door. Is there anything more enjoyable than this in the world? Am I the chosen one? Cyclops was shaking with excitement and couldn't help but think about it. I'll go. Is this guy the chosen one? No sir. This special meow can do it. Coach, I'll report it. Someone is cheating. I thought Captain America was outrageous enough, but I didn't expect it to be delivered to your door. I'll fight you European kings. Another European emperor game. When will we, the African chiefs, stand up? JPG. Mama asked me why tears came out of my mouth. Outside the live broadcast, everyone who eats melons is numb. His eyes were shining, and he was so jealous that he almost turned into red eyes. Even if Captain America acquires the rat talisman without any difficulty, the Emperor of Truth has already analyzed that this is probably an Easter egg for the first one to choose a camp. As a reward for being the first to eat a crab, they reluctantly recognized it with their noses pinched. But, you lay here for a long time, and the pig charm was delivered directly to your door. Is there any justice? Are you the fool who invaded the system? Such luck. It can almost be called luck. A group of people stared at the live broadcast, their teeth almost ached. Looking at the Cyclops possessed by the European Emperor, they could only shed tears of envy. Professor. It's Cyclops. He got it. Storm jumped three feet high in excitement. What is a sudden turn of events? This is called a twists and turns. Originally, Wolverine failed to snatch the rat charm and returned in vain. They all thought they had no chance this time. Result. A big surprise broke out when I turned around. Although the effect of the pig talisman seems not as powerful as the rat talisman, it is still one of the twelve talismans. Don't use bean bags as dry food, which is the key to completing the main mission. You can also get system rewards. Yeah, Captain is awesome. 
The little naughty boy waved his fists excitedly, already imagining Cyclops' rewards after the mission was completed. Pi from heaven, in the beaming mutant academy, only Professor X can remain calm. Maybe. Charles looked at the live broadcast with a hint of worry in his eyes. The spell is in hand. But that doesn't mean it's foolproof. Snort. Grab it. I must snatch it. Loki punched his fist angrily. Influenced by Thor, he also has a domineering and aggressive side in his heart. Especially, the rat charm that I was supposed to have flew away. The pig talisman appeared in front of Mutant, whom he despised. This made Loki even more unhappy. He wanted to rush into the screen and take it back in person. But, now, still have a chance. Loki's emerald green eyes shone with a cold light that was determined to win. Only when the reward is in Thor's hands can he have a chance to fool him, so Thor must succeed. And now, the world is undecided. Thor still has a chance. The map, I have already guided you there. You will find it soon. Loki clenched his fists. He was so nervous that he dug his nails into his flesh without noticing it, and just stared at the screen with all his concentration. Now, let's see if Thor can catch up. Once you find the Cyclops, the pig charm will be at your fingertips. Fine, it's just the power of the laser that makes the eyes release electric light. Loki couldn't help but sigh in relief. The effect of the pig charm seems to be just to release electric light. Cyclops himself has this super ability, but he was beaten to death by Thor. Fortunately, it's not like a rat charm. If a spell with special effects appears and is held by Cyclops, in Thor's current state, even if he can win it, it will be a tough battle. The great power of the rat talisman made no one dare to underestimate the power of the talisman. Fortunately, the same feeling of joy appears in the hearts of many people. Apart from, Sorcerer Supreme, Ancient One, the energy in him is getting thicker and thicker. A bit like, evolution, metamorphosis, sublimation. Ancient One's tone was a little uncertain, and his calm gaze became deeper and deeper. Good, marvelous, it's never been better. Cyclops opened his eyes excitedly, holding the pig talisman in his hand, and accidentally activated the power of the talisman. The majestic power continued to emerge from his eyes, making him feel like he had been reborn. I have never felt so good. It is also a laser light. Before, he had to rely on auxiliary equipment to cooperate. Now, with just a thought, he can exert ten times, or even a hundred times the power, a perfect exchange of shotguns for cannons. Just when Cyclops couldn't help but expand. Team leader. Why are you here? An exclamation came from his ears, interrupting his excitement. It was a familiar voice. Logan. A familiar voice rang in my ears. Cyclops turned his head, his eyes quickly locked in the direction, with a bit of surprise on his face, why are you here? Team leader. Logan raised his head and asked instead of answering, why are you here? And. Dot the energy in you. Your super ability seems to, become stronger. Wolverine looked hesitant. He could feel the majestic energy of Cyclops, especially the laser light waves in his eyes, as if there were terrifying beasts lurking inside, and even he couldn't help but feel palpitations. But, now, obviously this is not the time to dwell on this. Captain, since you arrived first, have you found any traces of the spell? Wolverine spoke eagerly. This is related to whether their mutants can take the lead, especially with Thor following closely behind, time is very tight. He didn't know it yet, but he had already obtained the pig charm. Cyclops' lips moved slightly, with a rather strange expression. Traces of a spell. Can he say that not only does he know the traces of the talisman, he also has a pig talisman in his hand. Cyclops felt a little uncomfortable holding back. Just as he was about to speak, give Wolverine a surprise. Boom. The harsh thunder suddenly came from a distance. Galloping lightning filled the field of vision. In a blink of an eye, lightning fell from the sky, and Thor made a strong appearance in a domineering way. Hey, you guys run pretty fast. Thor stepped out of the lightning and waved his hand. The dancing arc of electricity added a bit of unruliness to him. Unexpectedly handsome, countless people can't help but take screenshots and save them. But, as myself, Thor felt a little unhappy, Wolverine arrived before him. Even if they are in the same camp. He also couldn't accept that he was left behind. Humph. If you want to find the talisman, you don't have to be fast. 
What if you get to the place first? You can only win if you find the location of the pig talisman and get the talisman. Thor opened his mouth to make amends with himself. A spell. Cyclops' pupils shrank and his heart was shocked. He finally discovered what he had overlooked. It's a spell. When he got the pig talisman, the system sounded a beep at the same time. So, Logan and the others came here one after another just for the spell. Them, tracking the location of the spell. Cyclops' heart tightened, and he instinctively wanted to hide the pig charm in his hand and make a fortune in silence. But, unfortunately, it was still a little late. Um. What's glowing in your hand? This position, this reaction, is it a charm? Highly overlapping location information on the minimap. Besides, there was a flash of white light in Cyclops' hand just now. Thor's pupils shrank. All kinds of thoughts came to me. The brain full of muscles finally came into use. He followed his intuition and hit the target directly. Pig charm. In your hand. It was obviously a question, but Thor's tone was extremely sure. His eyes were burning, as if he had seen through the truth. Oops. Cyclops' face tightened and his heart sank. Cold sweat. Wet your back. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. That's it. Loki grinned, a smile on his face, and fisted his hands excitedly. Did not expect. This idiot brother of his actually had some bright ideas. Finally. Caught. Now, isn't the reward within reach? Loki's eyes lit up, and he couldn't help but feel hot inside. Not bad. Even Odin on the throne nodded slightly with satisfaction. Really. Professor X's eyes dimmed and he suppressed his disappointment. He knew it. High in the sky is not that easy. Thor Thor's strength is too supermodel. Without his father's intervention, he would be simply invincible in this world. Even if Cyclops and Wolverine join forces, the chance of winning is almost zero, unless a miracle happens. But, miracle. Professor X's eyes were gloomy, obviously giving up hope. The adult world does not believe in miracles. Tisk, I knew it wasn't that simple. So what about the European Emperor? He still can't beat me, Thor. Yeah, I declare that I am a Thor fan. Europeans, eat my sword. It can be seen from Thor's unruly posture before that he is definitely not someone who will stop worrying about his camp. Conquer. Plunder. This is the domineering nature engraved in his bones. However, the melon eaters guessed the beginning, but not the ending. Hand over the talisman. Thor shouted in a deep voice, releasing the pressure and giving people heavy oppression. Treasure. It has always belonged to the strong. His defeated general is not qualified to possess the treasure. Cyclops pursed his lips. The treasure from heaven was handed over so easily. He, no matter how much I think about it, I feel dissatisfied. And, after the pig charm is activated, the majestic power constantly emerging from his eyes also gave him a shot in the arm. Before, it was indeed a miserable loss. But, if there is a pig talisman with the electric eye bonus, maybe a miracle will happen. Laugh. Thor sneered. Cyclops's resistance made him want to laugh. He's just defeated. Thor shook his head and said in a calm tone, as if telling the truth, you can't even block one of my moves, but one more spell can change the result. Innocent. He can forcefully suppress the rat charm that turns silence into motion. What's more, it looks like an ordinary pig charm. The laser power of a pig is incomparable to the life power of a rat. You won't know until you win or lose. Cyclops' nervous palms became sweaty, remembering the previous disastrous defeat, but in the end he bravely charged forward. The spell has arrived. He was unwilling to give up like this. At least, we must also fight vigorously. The raging flames of war turned into passionate fighting spirit. Um, sensing the opponent's fighting spirit, Thor raised his eyebrows unexpectedly, a little surprised and a little admired. He admits it. He looks down on others. It is easy to throw a punch at the weak, but very difficult to swing a knife at the strong. Indomitable perseverance. I agree with you. I, Thor Thor, admit that you are a true warrior. But, you want to beat me. This alone is not enough. Power is the truth. Thor growled lowly. The power of thunder bloomed from his body, and his eyes turned into the silvery white color of lightning. In order to avoid a long night of dreams, he did not test it and directly exploded with all his strength. Boom. Tens of millions of volts of voltage turned into a surge of lightning, as if to destroy everything. Even across the screen. 
You can all feel the violence of the thunder, which makes people feel terrified. But, the invincible thunder. When attacking Cyclops, something seemed to happen. Sizzling, hot laser light waves blasted. Scarlet radiance bloomed from his eyes, turning into two scorching sights. The red light is not as powerful as the thunder. In the flood of thunderous plasma, like a vast ocean, there was only a flash of bright red. But it's extremely conspicuous. It seems weak, but it can never be suppressed. Even, counterattack. The laser beam became more and more violent, flashing like lightning, and forcefully suppressed Thor in reverse. The power to destroy everything. Erupted. Boom. Boom. Cyclops activates his electric eyes with all his strength. The power to destroy everything explodes, the overwhelming thunder, the devastation, as fragile as paper. Boom. The armor is broken. Thunder splashes. Even Mjolnir, which was made from the core of the Death Star, was left with deep searing scars. As if Thor was hit hard, his breath gradually faded. However, the energy in Cyclops continues to rise, especially the laser light that fills the eyes, which seems to be able to cut space. The terrifying power of destruction makes people's hair stand on end. This. How can this be? Thor's eyes widened, unable to accept such a painful defeat. Obviously. It's just that one of his men was defeated. Asgard. It's. A pig charm. The power of laser can make the holder's eyes emit electric light, which can destroy everything. Odin, who had closed his eyes and pretended to sleep, suddenly opened his one eye, and the golden glow seemed to penetrate the void. In a short period of time, Cyclops' strength has undergone earth-shaking changes. The only variable is the pig charm in his hand. The pig charm is so powerful. Nick Fury's eyes widened. The eyes that kill people are about to become real. Could it be that? The electric eye of the pig talisman is the strongest power among the twelve talismans. The rat charm is just a gimmick. No, it's not that the pig talisman is stronger, it's that the rat talisman has not exerted its true power. The ancient one shook his head and responded to the doubts of his magicians, compared to the rat talisman. It, I met a good host. Ancient one whispered. The compatibility between Cyclops and the pig charm is quite high and it would never be possible for another holder to do so. And, Ancient One's eyes were slightly focused, looking at the live broadcast screen, with a bit of solemnity in his eyebrows. On Cyclops, like, there are deeper forces, and metamorphosis is going to happen. I lost. Thor gritted his teeth, looking unwilling. But in the end he admitted his defeat. Almost at the same time. In Cyclops' ears, the system prompt sounded belatedly. Ding. Side mission, collect pig charms, completed. Brief description, started a battle with Thor Thor, won a great victory in the battle, and powerfully occupied the pig talisman. Task evaluation, a level. Acquire strengthening ability, laser power. A product analyzed and strengthened from the pig talisman, giving both eyes the ability to have electric eyes, communicating with Otherworld, the laser dimension, and releasing endless laser light. I feel. My eyes are connected to a whole world. Cyclops covered his eyes, feeling extremely painful. The terrifying fluctuations seemed to be carrying the weight of a world. Appeared. Appeared. The best evaluation is that it is stronger than the original version of the spell. It has real strengthening ability. The melon-eating crowd danced with excitement. The text on the system panel made them feel unclear. Communication Otherworld. Carrying the power of dimensions. It sounds quite high-end, which is much better than degraded ability. But, compared to the layman watching the excitement, only true insiders know the horror behind this line of words. Laser, dimension, ancient one's expression was tense, and he was a little out of sorts. As a sorcerer supreme who has lived for hundreds of years, is proficient in countless magics, and has communicated with other dimensions, ancient one is no stranger to the power of various mysterious dimensions. She can detect the subtle fluctuations in Cyclops. Cyclops has super ability and is communicating with some mysterious existence, causing unknown reactions and metamorphosis. This feeling of deja vu. Astonishingly, she once communicated with the dark dimension and relied on the power of darkness. No. Ancient One quickly shook his head, sensing something unusual. Compared to. 
Communicating with other dimensions and absorbing the power of other dimensions, Cyclops and the power of laser are in a state of perfect harmony, more like integrating with a mysterious dimension and becoming its master. If, if you want to look for a similar existence from the memory of Ancient One, that is it. Dormammu. In other words, the current state of Cyclops is infinitely close to the dimension Mephista. Depend on, what the hell is this? Beep, beep, beep. At the far end of the universe, a certain black man lurking outside the Earth's dimension couldn't help but curse. Watching helplessly, Cyclops became a dimensional Mephista so easily. Dormammu's face turned green. To know, in order to integrate with the dark dimension, he has unlimited lifespan and power. He was once a top necromancer. It can be said that he gave up everything. Even himself, he was made to look like a human and a ghost. And, he was constantly eroded by the power of darkness, turning into a madman and suffering an unimaginable price. But, Cyclops, how could he achieve his achievements so easily? This kind of unimaginable treasure is actually just a reward for a side mission in the invasion system. Dormammu has a strong sense of absurdity in his heart. He couldn't even speak, especially, when he perceived that the laser dimension was no less powerful than the dark dimension. Dormammu is boiling. System, system, I also want a system. Metropolis. Clark, are you sure? Batman frowned and looked at his friend beside him, who is also the absolute core of strength in the team. He is wary of all super strength. But, result. If it's just the power of him and the pig talisman, after unleashing all its strength, I'm confident to suppress him. Clark's expression quickly became solemn, but what if it's connected to another dimension? Clark shook his head and said seriously, unless, I can unlock that power, it will be difficult to win. That power. Batman looked up at the sky, thoughtful. The scorching sun releases endless light and heat forever. Let a mortal easily become a powerful dimensional Mephista. Is this the essence of the system? Odin clutched the spear in his hand. Even if he thinks highly of the other person in his heart, the rewards given by the system can still refresh his outlook again and again. The powerful dimensional Mephista is an existence that even he cannot despise. And the system can facilitate it easily. Unimaginable power. Odin's heart was filled with ups and downs, and the ravines on his face became even more vicissitudes of life. Tisk, another perfect version of ability. Sushu smacked his lips, and his fingertips danced with scarlet light. As long as the recruiter gets the reward, no matter what the task evaluation is, he can get the perfect version of ability. What is an advantage? This is an advantage. Always one step ahead. Cyclops gets strengthened version, laser power. Increased by 100 times. Congratulations to the host for getting the perfect version, the power of laser. Compared with Cyclops, which can only be triggered through the medium of eyes, Sushu can communicate with the power of this mysterious dimension by raising his hand and use the power of laser as he wishes. He is the one with the highest authority in the laser dimension. Even, the power of Cyclops integrate is all because Sushu released his authority and sealed his power with just a thought. It's just that under normal circumstances, he wouldn't pay attention to this, and there is no need to restrict Cyclops. A hundredfold increase is at hand. The recruiters may make a small profit, but he will never lose money. Just when countless people were thinking about it and were shocked by the power of the system. Ding. The system beep started again. This time. It's a global broadcast. Number of spell triggers. 2. Main mission, collecting spells, level 1 has been achieved. Meet the minimum conditions. Multiplayer recruitment mode is about to start. Remaining time, 3 days. Multiple people recruited. Nick Fury's pupils shrank. Lou Dan, who was always paying attention to the changes on the live broadcast screen, was the first to notice the clues. Focus on it. Multiple people. In the name of recruiting multiple people, no matter how you look at it, you won't make a fuss, right? At a small scale, it is a second recruitment, giving others new opportunities. At a large scale, it is a large-scale recruitment, which directly and greatly spreads the impact of the intrusion into the system. Times, maybe really have to change. Nick Fury's pupils shrank. An earthquake in my heart. He had a feeling, this time. There may be something big going on. Multiplayer recruitment mode. Twelve talismans are scattered around the world. 
In order to find the lost talismans, the system will conduct a large-scale recruitment. Please collect the talismans as soon as possible to prevent the darkness from falling. Once the 12 talismans are lost and darkness returns, the world will face prehistoric terror and be ruled by demonic energy. On the system panel, lines of subtitles pour down. Recruiters. All received notifications from the system. There are many changes in facial expressions. However, the same thing is that they all know that the real treasure hunting feast has begun. And their forward-looking advantage only has three days left. Hurry up. A stern look flashed in Thor's eyes, he didn't have much time, and there was no time to waste. He directly let go of the shackles of power and turned into lightning across the city. He covered the greatest distance in the shortest time and expanded the range as far as possible to trigger the system's judgment. And on his system panel. Also with this update, new content has appeared. Racing list. Good cheat devil chi. Righteousness, talisman collection, two twelfths. Devil energy, spell collection, zero twelfths. White on the left, black on the right, two distinct lists appeared in front of them, showing the progress of both sides at all times stimulating the recruiters, trying their best to dare not relax. Right. The list representing the demonic camp is still blank. Left. Words have begun to appear on the list representing the righteous camp. Captain America, Cyclops, their names are clearly listed. Cyclops, who also successfully collected a charm and received an A-level rating, definitely topped the list without any surprise. Looking at the contents on the list, Thor's face darkened, unwilling to recall his dark history. This honor. But it was achieved by stepping on him. Outside world. Earth. Rays of golden light fell from the sky. All are transmission channels opened by the system after being recruited. Before, there were only a few sporadic visits, and most of them were in the dark, so they could easily be hidden and ignored. This time, a large-scale recruitment operation. An instant sensation all over the world. Rays of golden light flashed. The representatives are all the peerless European emperors who were selected among billions of people. Look at the shining golden light beam. The people around him couldn't help but look at him with envy and jealousy, wishing they could rush in and take his place. Director. The statistical report is out. The door to the conference room on the top floor of S.H.I.E.L.D. was violently pushed open. Phil Coulson trotted in with a pile of documents in his arms and gasped, the situation. It's not good. His chest rises and falls like a ventilator, setting the tone first when he opens his mouth. According to, incomplete statistics. There are 36 suspected cases of golden light anomalies breaking out around the world. There are also more than 20 confirmed cases. The scope of the recruitment triggered this time is far beyond expectations, and the impact is extremely serious. Somewhere in a dark street, a bar. Whoosh. The golden light flashes and disappears. On the wine table in front of the bar, a man with a pair of knives on his back and a mask on his head was bragging and talking nonsense. He suddenly disappeared from his seat, leaving only the dented marks on the leather, proving that he once existed. My drink money. Wade, you guys skipped the bill again. Don't let me catch you. Next time I see you, I will put my leather shoes into your butt. The bartender who came back from the bar looked at the empty seats and let out a banshee wail. Manhattan. A muscular man with blue skin who was walking on the street slowly opened his eyes as if no one else was around. Looking at the turbulent flow of people around, there is also a boiling scene. Dr. Manhattan's mouth curved slightly, revealing a smile. Interesting. The world is becoming more and more strange. Than a cookie-cutter future. This kind of. Surprises beyond quantum observation are what he likes. Tired of the boredom of the universe, he committed suicide. This increasingly unfamiliar world may bring him different pleasures. Invade the world. Rays of golden light fell from the sky and fell in every corner of the city. There are also some unlucky ones who are directly spread all over the world. San Francisco. Peninsula area. Tap tap tap. Tony, fully armed, walked out wearing an Iron Man battle suit. Facing unknown risks, he did not dare to be careless. That's right. He. Selected again. J-A-R-V-I-S, explore the surrounding environment, let go of restrictions, and invade the network. I want to collect information about this world in the shortest possible time. Special notes on the spells. Tony ordered decisively. After integrating the defective data, 
JARVIS's computing power can easily invade the world's network. This is also his biggest advantage. Yes, sir. In an alley somewhere, a man and a woman walked out. Be careful. This world is dangerous. Quicksilver walked ahead vigilantly, protecting Wanda behind him. Yeah, I know. Wanda nodded, her hands filled with red light, and her crimson magic was ready to go. Invasion missions are not about playing house. The previous live broadcast content has told everyone the dangers involved. It is obviously stupid to bet your life on the kindness of other people. The two brothers and sisters who have experienced the darkness of Hydra will definitely not be so naive. Hey, I was indeed selected. It seems that this system is quite discerning. A playful voice sounded. Even with the mask on, there was an indescribable aura of meanness that made people want to kick him. The twisting and twisting way he walks is highly recognizable. Um, a large amount of commission. The Golden Rooster King's treasure. I want to take over this mission. I want to take over. Don't let anyone take it from me. As if he heard something, Deadpool's eyes lit up and he rushed over without caring about anything. Empire. Military. The senior military officials gathered together to discuss the situation and how to deal with it. A middle-aged man with the rank of colonel. He rushed into the conference room in a hurry and brought bad news. Something is wrong. As a product of the Super Soldier Project, the biochemical weapon is as powerful as the Hulk. It was originally contained in our underground research institute and heavily protected. Abomination. Disappeared out of thin air. What? The hatred disappeared. What happened? Questions came from high-ranking military officials. The old army general frowned, with a strong sense of oppression. The hatred disappears. What does the monitoring system do for food? Where are the guards? Why are you reporting now? The noisy conference room was suddenly in an uproar. As a super monster comparable to the Hulk, the military's protective measures against abomination are absolutely armed to the teeth. Various high technologies emerge and endlessly just disappear quietly under their noses. No movement at all. Absolutely. No. Can. Able. No. Actually, there is a possibility. Ross shook his head and said in a faint tone, don't forget. There is also. Dot the one who invades the system, recruitment. Times have changed. Rose's cold words sounded and fell on everyone's hearts, as if struck by lightning. Grown-ups. Times have changed. He became a recruiter. How is that possible? It's just a semi-finished product of a genetic project, just a weapon. He, why does he? Like an excited cat, someone blew up his tail and opened his mouth to deny it. None of their, noble, big shots were selected. They were just weapons, monsters enslaved and controlled by them. How could they have such qualifications? But, he was only halfway through his rebuttal when he suddenly stopped. Hack the system. No one has yet discovered what he is. No one knows, what his method of selection is. Maybe, bugs and humans are of the same status in others' eyes, equally insignificant. Sudden, roar. A roar was like thunder on the ground, and many people sat down on the ground in fear. The rest, it's like I thought of something. They all turned their heads and looked at the screen in disbelief. It's really him, Ross shouted, his pupils shrinking to pinpoint file size. San Francisco, Times Square. Roar. There was a dull loud noise, like thunder. The huge giant figure appeared on the square. Compared with him, the crowd around him was like a group of panicked ants. Even the, zombie tyrant, who once appeared was inferior. The veins exploded, the eyes were blood red, the roar was loud, and the violent posture was like a madman. Boom. When the fist hits the ground, there are deep pits everywhere. The steel and concrete were like plasticine in his hands, kneading them at will. Absolutely. Hate. Hulk. Get out of here. I'm going to kill you. I will win this time. Abomination raised his head and roared. The stones thrown from his hands were like cannonballs, blasting into the air. And opposite him, a thick figure expanded and changed rapidly, and its body gradually turned green. An earth-shattering muscle collision broke out the next moment. Boom. The power swept across, turning countless buildings into ruins, and the loud noise was more piercing than a thunderbolt from the blue. Um, what's the situation? Hiss, what a terrifying aftermath. Is there someone fighting? It seems like this direction. 
The thunder exploded on the ground, bringing with it a terrifying wave of air that swept across the entire place. The clouds were disturbed. A sonic boom cloud formed in midair, and traces of the aftermath of the battle could be seen across most of the city. The powerful fluctuations caused the nearby recruiters to look sideways. They all looked up and looked in the direction of the explosion. In. There's Tony. Sir, the direction of the earthquake source has been locked and a comparison model is being constructed. Beep. 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 A highly matching character was found in the database, the Hulk. Hulk. The mechanical sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded in my ears. Since absorbing the power of the Red Queen, J-A-R-V-I-S's computing power has become more and more powerful. By invading the network and controlling the field of vision, J-A-R-V-I-S can instantly lock the target direction. Go over first and talk later, Tony whispered quietly. Whoosh. Sound waves break through the air. Boom. The air waves turn into propulsion, slowing down and reducing shock behind. Tony, wearing Mark's armor, fell from the sky and was the first to arrive on the battlefield. And in front of him, it has suddenly been reduced to ruins. With ruins all over the place and traces of war damage, it is impossible to tell that this was once the economic center of the city. These two guys are so destructive. Tony's face was dark. Before he even had time to set foot on the battlefield, he saw the scene of mourning everywhere. Driven by his inner sense of justice, he donned the battle suit and quickly started to save people. The peripheral vision swept over the battlefield. The situation on the field shocked him. Fighting the Hulk. Is it hatred? A surprised voice sounded, and Captain America swung his shield, knocking away several flying rocks, and arrived right behind Tony. From the information of S.H.I.E.L.D., he, remember this person, he is also one of the implementers of the Super Soldier Project, but he was blinded by power and once fought with Hulk. He is a very dangerous person. Yes, it's him. Hate Blonsky. Tony landed next to Captain America, opened his helmet visor, and nodded to confirm his guess. But. Got his strength. Captain America hesitated. On the battlefield, Abomination and Hulk are fighting fiercely, and it is difficult to tell the difference. Hulk has turned into the Hulk, full of violent power, and Abomination is equally terrifying. He can smash steel bars with every move of his hands. During the battle, countless buildings were destroyed. The battle between the two sides is all about violent aesthetics. But, the power of hatred. Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Tony's eyes narrowed slightly and he shook his head. In a sudden glance, he seemed to see a bright light in abomination. The strange glow makes people unable to help but think about it. Could it be? Tony's pupils shrank, as if he thought of something, he quickly stepped forward in his battle suit. Carefully avoiding the aftermath of the battle, Relying on the ruins of the bunker, he quickly approached the battlefield. Hope, don't be what he guessed. However, God does not follow human wishes. After Tony came into contact with hatred, his eyes darkened and he said to himself, sure enough. Guess, confirmed, ding, discover the talisman clue cow. Unlock related information, please collect the spells as soon as possible and complete the main mission. Cow talisman represents the power of power, which can make the holder infinitely powerful and give the holder the ability to be infinitely powerful. The system prompt sounded in my ears. A large amount of text flows down and turns into lines of text on the panel. And what people care about more than the cow talisman is. The location. Dot has been revealed. With a dark face, Tony looked at the blinking mini-map on the system panel and directly announced the location of the ox talisman to all recruiters. It was foreseeable that this place would soon become a Shira field. Countless conscripts gathered and fierce competition broke out. The most troublesome thing is. The Hulk, the abomination trapped in a deadly battle, cannot escape at all. They couldn't even retreat in advance and could only watch helplessly as this place became the center of contention. No, we have to do something. Tony glanced at Captain America beside him, and the two reached a tacit agreement. The Hulk must be stopped as quickly as possible, and the Abomination fights. Otherwise, if they are allowed to continue fighting, things will probably get out of hand when other recruits gather. Do not forget, this time, it's a large-scale recruitment. It's no longer the petty fighting before, but a real chaotic battle. Tony and Captain America looked at each other. 
Everyone realized the seriousness of the matter. But, it wasn't until they took action that they realized how troublesome the situation was. Boom, boom, the terrifying power seemed to shatter everything, and the invulnerable vibranium shield was constantly shaking. If Captain America hadn't blocked the aftermath with his body, the shield would have been knocked away. Why are they so strong? Captain America has a scary look on his face. There is a huge gap between Abomination's strength and what is recorded in the intelligence. Not on the same level at all. It can be called a world apart. Captain America felt like a child in the face of hatred, wrestling with an adult, completely unstoppable. It's a charm. The effect of the ox talisman, the power of strength. Tony spoke with a dark face. Compared to Captain America, who has the 50-50 characteristic and holds a vibranium shield to relieve force, he is the most restrained. The modified and strengthened pursuit missile has no effect at all when hit on the abomination. On the contrary, if he picks up a stone and throws it at it, he has the power to crush a rocket launcher. Only the palm cannon and the charged pulse can have a slight impact on abomination, but it will also stimulate his ferocity. The effect that pure technological firepower can produce in such a top battle situation is too weak. And, Tony finally realized that what he thought was too simple. More than hate, the opponent they have to face is the Hulk. Under the coercion of hatred, the Hulk continues to expand, Dr. Banner's personality has been completely suppressed, Hulk is only barbaric, his reason no longer exists, and he is unable to communicate at all. If you want them to cease fighting, you must control both of them. But, they can barely sustain even the hateful attacks, all relying on Captain America's new ability to turn death into life, constantly activating stones, cement, steel bars, and turn them into cannon fodder to intercept and resist attacks. Even dealing with the abomination is as difficult as the sky, plus a Hulk whose strength is not much inferior to him. Tony's face was dark and his expression was quite ugly. Just when he was at a loss and felt a little numb. An unexpected sound suddenly sounded in my ears. Hey, man, need some help. A light voice sounded. A man with short silver hair broke into the surveillance field of JARVIS. Behind him seemed to be his sister. Whoosh, there was a flash of light and shadow. After images that even the super intelligence, J-A-R-V-I-S, couldn't capture, flashed by. The two of them set foot directly on the battlefield. It's Quicksilver. And his sister Wanda. Mutant. Tony's eyes moved slightly. He was once an arms tycoon and had a close relationship with the military. He quickly recognized this pair of famous siblings. The older brother is Quicksilver, possessing great speed. The younger sister is Wanda, who specializes in origin magic power. They are quite strong and can be called top-notch mutants. But, will they choose to help? Tony frowned slightly, he was not someone who would trust other people's characters easily. Hey, brother, don't get me wrong. We are all on the same side. As if he saw the suspicion in Tony. Quicksilver quickly revealed his identity. Joke, if you act too late and you are treated as a fisherman, it will be a disaster. Although Quicksilver is not afraid of Tony and Captain America, he does not want to make enemies in vain, especially when everyone is on the same page. That's right, they really chose the Righteous Camp. Not because of the 500-point mission reward, but because the Righteous Camp firmly has the upper hand. Not only Thor and the others have joined, but there are also card characters with terrifying strength like Dad. The most important is, Quicksilver sets its sights on the system's racing list. Collection Progress. Righteous Camp, 2 twelfths. Compared to the Devilish Camp, which is poor and useless, the Righteous Camp has not only achieved zero breakthroughs long ago, but is still making great progress. It seems to have endless potential. The two Quicksilver brothers and sisters, who prefer a neutral stance, definitely chose to join the strong ones. I can try to hold off that big guy. Wanda walked out from behind Quicksilver and got to the point. The vigorous and resolute style, full of capable temperament, makes people's eyes bright. Hold him. Captain America raised his head in surprise. What Wanda was aiming at was hatred. Red light appeared in her hand, and the crimson power was condensed into substance. The powerful fluctuations caused ripples in the space. This was Wanda's confidence. Definitely good. Captain America's eyes lit up. He thought very simply. 
Having powerful allies willing to help would definitely be a good thing for their next actions. He and Tony. It is really difficult to deal with the hateful and violent Hulk at the same time. Base. Crimson power blooms. Powerful magic fluctuations dyed half of the sky red. Hey. Wanda raised her hands high, and her eyes were dyed red by the crimson power due to the overload of magic power. Just do what you say, no pretense at all. Try your best to output, and the results are quite gratifying. The red light swirled around Abomination, wrapping around him like chains, constantly tightening. Roar. Abomination roared in anger, but could not break free. The huge power is indeed terrifying, but correspondingly, the disadvantages of the human shield role also appear. That is, magic resistance. All go. As expected of my goddess. Tight pants are hot. Control the field with every move. Is this the status of Scarlet Witch? You're so strong in dragging me. The most difficult hatred has been controlled. As long as Hulk calms down, this crisis should be over, right? Sure enough, the righteous camp is the strongest. Wanda's powerful strength immediately overwhelmed the audience, causing countless people to shout 666, feeling that the overall situation was decided. But, finish. Su Xu shook her head, with a hint of amusement on her lips, not that fast. Looking at the few lines of subtitles that just popped up on the system panel, even he was a little surprised. Crisis. This is the real beginning. Hey, hey, what is that? There is movement. A. Hey, someone is here again. As soon as they come, they come. What's there to be excited about? It's just two more helpers. I've never seen the world before. No. They seem to be enemies. Huh, it seems like they are about to fight. In the midst of a sea of people licking the screen and shouting for the goddess hail. Finally a few people appeared to talk about business. Live streaming. The edge of the battlefield. Suddenly, a new figure appeared. Is there anyone? There is JARVIS invading the network and monitoring the whole place. Tony was the first to notice the anomaly. Um. Are they teammates again? Captain America's eyes lit up. With the addition of Wanda and Quicksilver, he already felt the benefits of allies. If, I can have some more reliable allies. He couldn't even imagine how smooth this operation would be. However, soon, a basin of cold water was poured down. Maybe not, Tony said solemnly. The cold voice instantly put Captain America on alert. Um, enemy, hold high the vibranium shield. His eyes looked in all directions vigilantly, waiting for possible attacks. Whoosh. In the billowing dust and smoke raised by the battle, several pieces of gravel shot out quietly. At extremely fast speeds, they created sonic booms in midair, and their power was no less powerful than careful artillery shells. Careful. Captain America didn't need to remind him. The few people who sensed the danger quickly moved away. Bang bang bang. Cannonball-like rubble hit the ground, turning into deep pits. Yes. You. After dodging the attack, Captain America turned his head and looked forward, his pupils suddenly shrinking. It was as if he recognized the person who attacked him. Dr. Octopus. Bullseye. Mrs. Gao. Kama. A crazy doctor who is obsessed with transformation technology, a lackey of extremely evil forces, and a leader of the hand. Shockingly, they are all the evildoers recorded in the S.H.I.E.L.D. files. In addition, when they appeared on the stage, they attacked menacingly, which was not a good intention at all. Could it be? An opponent? Captain America's expression changed slightly, and he instantly went into alert mode. Steve, who has a strong sense of justice, doesn't have a good impression of these evil-doing guys. After experiencing the help of Quicksilver, Wanda, and the two brothers and sisters, they finally met their enemy. And they are enemies from the opposing camp. The bright red and bloody words on the heads of Mrs. Gao and the other three people have already made their camp clear. Devil Camp. You actually chose the Holy Lord to associate with the devil. Tony's face turned cold. Facing the enemy, there is nothing to say, just enter the battle state. Click. Click. Various missiles and machines popped out of the battle suit, intending to stage a wave of shells to clear the ground. Hiss. The demonic camp. This thing sounds like a villain at first sight. Is there really a candidate? Nonsense. I'm afraid there will be a sea of people who can't bring chaos to the world, but there will definitely be one. Tisk, 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 I always feel like these guys are looking for death. 
They are in the righteous camp, but with dad standing on the side, they still dare to come over and oppose them. Believe it or not, they will be exiled in minutes. Who knows if the villain has a boss. We won't even know who the protagonist is until the end. Fart. Dad is absolutely invincible. With the appearance of Mrs. Gao and the others, another mysterious evil camp gradually opened up, instantly triggering a frenzy of discussion on the internet. All kinds of opinions were rampant. The barrage was overwhelming, and people were fighting each other across the screen on the internet. Compared to online, people who only rely on their likes and dislikes. Nick Fury is much more objective when he considers things, purely analyzing the situation as it develops. The changes in the mission world did not surprise him. Even, he also secretly said something, sure enough. He knew it, there will definitely be people joining the villain camp. When the father who represents justice appears, there must be a corresponding villain camp. The prompts in the mission information are already very obvious. People like him will never pin their future on luck. The superhero definitely prefers order, but there will always be some bad guys who are afraid of chaos. But. Fortunately, so far, only Bullseye has joined the villain ranks. Compared to mysterious top powerhouses like Thor, they are definitely much less harmful. They are all well-informed characters. Even Bullseye, which integrates adamantium as the spine, is only equivalent to a low-end version of Wolverine, and its strength is obviously inferior to one level. Maybe they were not strong enough to overtake Thor and the others, so they chose the demonic chi camp to give it a try hoping for a chance to overtake them in a corner. Nick Fury, who thought he had seen through their thoughts, was relieved. Everything, still within control. However, just when he was relaxing, ears, suddenly there was a sharp blast from Phil Coulson. Bureau, director, look, pointing at the live broadcast screen in front of him, Phil Coulson, an honest and polite man, couldn't help but cursed in unison with Lou Dan. Central Square. As soon as the three bullseyes appeared, they focused on the bull talisman on Abomination. Driven by greed, they directly started a fierce battle with Tony and his group. The initial battle was weak. As expected, these guys are obviously no match for Tony. Especially, there is also the terrifyingly fast Quicksilver swiping around the formation. With its extreme speed, it is obviously a nightmare on the battlefield. Just when the battle was becoming one-sided, but Bullseye suddenly raised his head and roared, as if he had been given a shot of blood. Stupid guy, you have no idea what kind of power I have gained. Bullseye raised his head high and said with arrogance, come and feel the flames of hell. Next moment, rolling demonic energy surged out of his body and turned into scalding flames, melting the clothes on his body into a brand new set of pitch black armor, covered with spikes, and extremely ferocious, as if he had drank countless blood. The devil transforms. Bullseye seemed to have changed. The muscles on his body were bulging. Blue runes were flowing on the armor. The black flames were lingering around him. He could also smell sulfur, as if he came from hell. Not only him, but also Madame Gao and Dr. Octopus are no exception. The three people transformed into demons one after another, waving the weapons transformed from hellfire and pressing forward with evil smiles on their faces. What kind of operation is this? Devil transformation. This is so cool, coach, I want to learn it. The black flames on their bodies look so strong. Are they really the fire of hell? Hiss. I feel like Iron Man and the others are in danger. All kinds of barrages are whizzing by online. The melon eaters were all attracted by the cool transformation methods of these people. Nothing else. Just handsome. The flame wreathed posture, coupled with the armor as black as iron makes people unable to take their eyes away from the sinister appearance. You can transform into 8-pack abs in minutes. Who is not greedy? But, what exactly are these abilities? I've never heard of it. Bullseye and the others can also transform. Among the envy, jealousy, and hatred, there are also many suspicious ones. The melon-eating crowd had big doubts in their little eyes. Is it a charm? Superman scratched his head and expressed his guess. But, Soon, it was rejected by an old friend. No, it can't be a charm. Their changes are not unique to Bullseye, but all three of them at the same time. Batman frowned. Although the changes on Bullseye and the three of them look a little different, they are generally almost the same. They have the same style, and they can definitely be from the same source. 
Although the spell is very strong, in general it is aimed at strengthening individuals. I have never heard of it being shared with a group. And, the main mission has not changed yet. Batman said the key point with determination. On the racing list, the collection progress of charms is still 2 twelfths and there is no new progress. It's not a spell, what on earth could it be? What Batman can discover, others can definitely guess. The same question arises in the minds of countless big guys, but they can't find any clues even if they try hard. Just when they were racking their brains, but couldn't find anything. The melon eaters once again shouted in surprise. My goddess actually overturned her car. This unscientific. Boom. The billowing dust and smoke flew everywhere, and the demonized bullseye's strength was completely transformed. The powerful power was frightening. The hot flames of hell turned into a long and narrow katana in his hand, serving as a weapon. Directly in front of everyone, the scene of cutting missiles with swords was staged. Prove it with facts. Their appearance is definitely not just fake, but they are truly powerful. The black flames were so hot that even metal could be melted into iron juice. The scorching heat wave made Captain America afraid to approach easily. He could only use the shield to cover himself and attack reluctantly. Fighting. Instant reversal. It became a one-sided situation. How can these guys be so strong? Tony gritted his teeth and spoke, the situation was quite unfavorable for them. After the transformation, the trio of villains seemed to have taken a pot of gold. They were growing more and more powerful every minute. Forced by the devil's energy, the powerful pressure made even him feel strenuous. The situation is precarious. And this is just the beginning. Not good. Quicksilver's pupils shrank and his face looked quite ugly. After those guys dealt with them, they refused to give up and set their sights directly on Wanda. The rolling black flames shot out like fireballs, carrying the sulfurous smell of hell. Wanda was using crimson magic to tightly wrap around Abomination, barely maintaining the balance. Under the attack of the Belied, the balance was broken. In order to avoid the attack, Wanda could only take back part of the crimson magic to annihilate the black flames. But, just in between attacks, Abomination keenly seized the opportunity and rushed out, but he broke free from the shackles of magic. Roar. Hatred roared to the sky, venting his anger. The chains on his body were shortened every inch of his body. Hateful. Wanda gritted her back molars and gave Bullseye a vicious look. He was the one who ruined her good situation. But, it's still business that matters. Use Shockwave to smash Bullseye away and knock him into the ruins. Wanda quickly adjusted her mentality and brewed the power of Crimson again, planning to repeat the same trick, trying to lock Abomination again and lock him up. However, the drastically changed situation on the field did not give her this chance. Mr. Abomination, you don't want to be tied into a rice dumpling by this woman anymore. Mrs. Gao stepped on the magic flames and approached. The blazing black flames took her up into the air and spoke to Abomination. Huh. Hatred turned his head, his eyes filled with violent blood, which made people feel nervous. Mrs. Gao didn't care at all. Instead, she smiled and said, If you don't want to be tied into a rice dumpling by this woman anymore, come and join us, accept the gift of hell, and join the glorious evolution. Get the same power we have and crush this woman under your feet. The seductive words sounded on Mrs. Gao, like the temptation from a devil. Strength. Hardly, step on your feet. Abomination didn't even have the slightest hesitation, and responded decisively, I accept it. The ferocious face was filled with a violent and fierce light. He, they are the evil party in the first place. If he could gain power by becoming a demon, he would definitely choose demon without hesitation. The sound of the word fell. Endless demonic energy rolled and poured into his body. At the same time, the familiar system prompt also sounded suddenly. Ding. Side mission, good, evil choice, completed. Current camp, demonic energy. Reward, demonic blessing fire. Coming from hell, it represents the blessing of the demonic energy of the fire demon. After being filled with the demonic energy, you will gain a new fighting form. After being demonized, all attributes will be enhanced, and you will gain the ability to control the demonic black flames. Strength. Hatred clenched his fists, and the majestic power in his body, as well as the dark iron armor on his body, gave him an indescribable sense of fulfillment, as if he could hold up the sky.
This was an illusion after a surge in strength. He never felt so good. Depend on. The shocking change made Tony feel numb. Good news. They finally knew why Bullseye suddenly learned to transform. Bad news. Hatred is demonized, and real terror appears. Infused with the demonic energy of fire, the already terrifying abomination doubled in size. Countless black flames wrapped around his body. The steel bars and gravel beside him were burned into liquid and flowed. The terrifying posture was like a real the devil has come to earth. Obedient. How can we fight this? Seeing the horror so close at hand, Quicksilver couldn't help but swallow his saliva. I'll go. Transform again. It's too, too, too strong. The demonized form of hatred is simply a fortress. Looking up at the live broadcast, the terrifying figure that occupied most of the battlefield left countless people speechless in shock. But, mission rewards. The reward from the villain camp is actually the blessing of demonic energy, and you can directly start the transformation skill. Isn't this too powerful? Coach, I'm reporting this, someone is cheating. You have to hit it with a hammer, it destroys the balance too much. Looking at the battlefield, after earth-shaking changes, many melon eaters were in the same mood as Tony, and they were all numb. The reward for the righteous camp is 500 points. The reward from the demonic camp is actually a demonized form for free. Demonized weapons, click and get them. Grown-ups. Times have changed. This. Is this the power of the system? Nick Fury's pupils shrank, and the fear in his heart was palpable. No one expected it. The system's rewards are actually so awesome. Just give away the demonized weapons for free, giving them the ability to transform, and the cool demonized weapons don't look like fakes, but real powers. No. Director, we probably, maybe, maybe, we still underestimated the effect of demonization. Phil Coulson swallowed and said with difficulty, no, we have far underestimated the power of the system. Pointing at the live broadcast screen, his trembling fingers showed his shocked heart. Scarlet Witch. Wanda. It actually overturned. Wanda, who is powerful just now, is now suppressed by hatred. Roar. The thundering roar resounded on the battlefield. The terrifying sound surged into the sky, and the clouds in the sky were shattered. In surrounding buildings, all the remaining glass was shattered. Crash. All kinds of broken glass shattered and splashed in the sunlight, carrying a dreamy murderous intent. And under this huge momentum, Wanda, apparently he was backed into a corner, obtained the blessing of demonic energy and transformed into a demon in the form of abomination. His strength far exceeded everyone's expectations. He originally had extreme strength because of the power of the cow spell. The demonized weapons and the burning black flames on his body gave him powerful powers. Magic attacks can be said to make up for the last shortcoming. The ruthless attitude turned into a weapon of war. If placed on the earth, it could easily destroy a small country. Wanda directly encountered the strongest opponent she had encountered after awakening. It was only preliminary that awakening's crimson power could not deal with this monster at all. Even if the magic power was overloaded and his eyes were dyed scarlet, he could only barely hold on and was completely beaten. Being at an absolute disadvantage, extremely tragic. Professor. Professor, what's wrong with you? The little naughty boy supported Professor X with a worried look on his face. I, I'm fine. Professor X shook his head with difficulty, his eyes looking very gloomy. As one of the mutant leaders, he knows better than anyone else that Wanda's strength is terrifying. Her awakening is definitely the top super ability. Looking at the ancient and modern mutants, there are very few people who can match her. Just the initial awakening, the powerful strength is already beyond imagination. However, that's Wanda, actually suppressed by hatred. System. Is this the horror of the system? Professor X spoke with difficulty, with bitterness in his tone. The most powerful super ability in mutant is actually no match for the rewards randomly given by the system after choosing a camp. Demonized. Is this a gift from hell? Caecilia stared at the live broadcast with greed in his eyes. But, he quickly shook his head. No, it's not hell, it's the system. This is the reward given by the system. Caecilius clenched his fist so hard that his nails dug into his flesh, and he didn't know anything. If, can I also gain this power? Originally, he was constantly getting closer to the darkness, and his heart began to waver. 
The rewards given by the system are so impressive, who would sell themselves to the darkness? He is not an idiot, and he should not pick up rags while leaving gold and silver. Ancient One did not notice the great changes in the hearts of the disciples beside him. Because, she, I was also shocked. Can you give this kind of reward just by choosing a cam? Ancient One's face was solemn, and his voice was a little bitter. Demonized weapons are given away with just one click. There is no difficulty at all, and there is no limit on the number of people. The generous gesture of the system is more shocking than the powerful effect of the demonized weapon. As if, to him, these powers that people care about are nothing but trivial matters. And, the rewards given casually are already shocking. How powerful should the real reward be? Ancient One's eyes darkened slightly, things were completely out of control. System. Thanos frowned, and the armrest he was holding turned into stone chips and slipped from his fingertips. When, in the universe, such a terrifying existence appeared. His. Mephisto, who was far away in hell, couldn't help but gasp. The pure breath of hell is accompanied by powerful black flames. Even he, the lord of hell, has to spend a lot of money to extract it. Its preciousness is self-evident. However, to the system, this is actually something that is given away casually. As cheap as roadside flyers. Mephisto rubbed his eyes, suspecting that he hadn't woken up yet. Compared with the outside world, the melon-eating masses are shocked by the system's generosity and unfathomable depth. As a real participant, Captain America and the others are really left with nothing but bitterness. Especially, Quicksilver. I. I must have made the wrong choice. Quicksilver's mouth twitched, and he couldn't help but doubt his life. He began to wonder if he had chosen the wrong camp. Compared with the righteous camp, which rewarded three melons and two dates, the rewards given by the demonic camp were obviously a higher level. Could it be? Is the demonic camp the right choice? Just when Quicksilver was shaken and wanted to run away with Wanda carrying the bucket. Don't worry. We have another way. Tony's deep voice sounded in his ears, which revived the low morale. Oh, Quicksilver's eyes lit up and he looked at Tony expectantly to see what clever plan he had up his sleeve. Don't forget, we also have a trump card. Tony's eyes narrowed slightly. He didn't show off, and went straight to the point. Dad. The demonic camp has demonic ability, and our righteous camp also has strong people. Apart from us recruiters, there is also Dad. His strength is obvious to all. If he can take action, he might still have a chance. Tony was deeply impressed by his father's unreasonable magic effects. In a desperate situation, the first rescuer he thought of was his father and his friends, who were also members of the righteous camp. Who said you can't use the power of NPCs in dungeons? But, is it too late? Captain America frowned, with a bit of hesitation on his face. The location of Fortune Plaza is half a city away from Dad's antique shop. By the time Dad wanders over, the battle here will probably be over. With Wanda pushed to her limit, it's hard to say how long she will be able to reach. Time. Not enough. No. There's enough time. Quicksilver spoke decisively. Do not forget. He is the fastest man in Marvel. Rest assured. I'm here. I'll make it in time. Quicksilver gritted his teeth. Now. He has no choice. After all, the system said from the beginning that once the camp is selected, it cannot be changed. Even if he and Wanda want to change jobs, they have no chance now. They can only bite the bullet and go all the way. Like the straw a drowning man clings to, hope is right in front of him, no matter how weak it is, he cannot give up. Because, in danger is Wanda, his sister. Old Street Antique Shop. Looking at the aerial view of the city given by Tony, Quicksilver gritted his teeth, with steely determination in his eyes. Next moment, the body turned into an afterimage and disappeared. At full speed, he was faster than imagined. Young man is very fast. The flash smacked his lips. Looking at the scenes in the live broadcast, I never expected that one day his proud speed would be challenged by others. A. Hey, speaking of which, between you and Alan, who is faster? The good friend beside him said with curiosity. It's definitely me. The Flash responded decisively. Facing his friend's disbelieving look, he added, he is indeed very fast, but as long as the speed force is activated, I will definitely be the strongest. I am the fastest man in the world. 
The Flash said some misleading words, but his tone was quite proud. Well, is that so? The friend next to him raised his head, some believing, some doubting. Not to mention off-site. How many people are shocked by the terrifying speed of Quicksilver? He turned into an afterimage and disappeared. In less than a moment, it turned into a stream of light and rushed back fiercely. Oops. Slow down. Slow down. Why are you rushing so fast? Dad's waist can't hold it anymore. A familiar tone sounded. This time, appearing with Quicksilver, surprisingly there was also Dad. He clutched his waist and kept moaning, as if he was moving too fast and his waist was out of the way. Hey, and I, Xiao Yu also jumped off Quicksilver. Just now, she just hugged her thighs and reluctantly took this ride. No one can leave Team Dragon behind, no one. Xiao Yu gave a thumbs up, rubbed the tip of her nose, and raised her head proudly. Hey, does it smell like devil again? Dad looked at the people on the field with the flames and demonic aura rolling around, and he quickly understood. With a cold face and his eyes like sharp arrows, he took out the dried puffer fish and said, Help dad hold them back, dad is going to use magic to exorcise the evil spirits. Got it. Socially, my father is a ruthless person and doesn't talk much. Tony and the others didn't need to say much, and dad entered combat mode in a matter of seconds. Delay. Okay. Wanda gritted her teeth and nodded. Forced to retreat by hatred, she could only choose to believe. Immediately, he gave up the evasive combat strategy, faced the difficulties, took great risks, and fought with abomination forcefully. He cooperated with Tony and others to try to delay time. Result. Definitely, definitely smooth. After a tough resistance. Then, the father's familiar voice sounded. Go away, monsters and monsters, leave monsters and ghosts, hurry up. Green magical light waves spread out from the dry puffer fish. It's a familiar recipe and a familiar taste again. Situation. Quick reversal. After the unreasonable magic light wave turned into a chain and entangled abomination, the cow charm on his body was instantly wrapped in magic power, turned into a stream of light, flew towards the dancing father, and fell into his hands obediently. Ding. Side mission. Collect cow charms. Completed. Brief description. Delay time. Let dad perform the exorcism ritual, and successfully get the cow talisman back from the abomination. Task evaluation, D level. Get reward, 200 points. 200 points. Tony and others raised their heads in unison, with complicated expressions. Especially Quicksilver, whose face turned black. After working so hard for so long, you finally got 200 points. Who is working so hard for points? Their goal is the power of the spells rewarded by the system. Now, all wasted. I didn't expect that letting dad take action would have such drawbacks. The spell is gone. As the system prompt sounded in his ears, Bullseye's heart sank completely. Their goal this time. Cow spell. Missed. So what do we do now? Mrs. Gao frowned and looked at Tony and his group warily, ready to take action at any time. What to do? Definitely leaving. Bullseye said with a dark face. The ox talisman has been taken away, and its ownership has been determined. If the fight continues, it may provoke the terrifying father. He would not do a loss-making business if there were no benefits at all, only risks. If you can't win, run away. Face. Everyone is a villain, who cares? Bring the hate. Bullseye finished his sentence, thought for a moment, and then added, well, you can bring the Hulk too. Then, he began to quickly break out and run away before others could react. Crash. Dr. Octopus waved his mechanical tentacles, wrapped around the two stunned monsters, and followed closely behind. They desperately wanted to leave. It was difficult for Tony and the others to organize a strong block in a short period of time. After desperately trying to stop Hulk, they missed the opportunity and could only watch them escape injured. Black Flame gives them the ability to float in the air, making it too difficult to catch up. Dad, are we just going to let that big guy go? Xiao Yu pouted, a little annoyed, and was very unhappy about letting these bad guys off so easily. No way. The father had a straight face and an extremely serious expression, the power on those guys is weird. It was obviously the breath from hell, but it was much purer than what was recorded in the classics. Even the restraining effect of white magic was greatly weakened. His banishment magic was actually useless against these demonic breaths. To know, 
Even the Holy Lord, who is the demon of fire, cannot resist this power. This is innate restraint, just like mice are afraid of cats. Hey, fortunately, only one big guy was affected, otherwise my old bones wouldn't be able to withstand it. Dad slapped his waist. There was a bit of bitterness on his face. The world is changing so fast that he, an old man with half of his body buried in the ground, really can't adapt. The messenger of death god can barely understand it. But, what's going on with this weird fire demonic energy? The effect of being filled with demonic energy is so strong. He even felt, the demonic fire energy in these guys is purer and more noble than that in the holy lord. When did the mobs become more noble than the boss? It's so outrageous. Dad couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth, lowered his head, and was somewhat doubtful about life. Tony and the others looked at each other. Dad couldn't figure it out, but they knew it. It's the system. Several people tacitly expressed their guesses. The demonic aura that hates them does not come from the fire demon lord, but is a side reward of the system. After thinking about this clearly, my heart became even more terrifying. Did not expect. Even the unreasonable father is helpless against the power of the system. No matter how strong dad is, he has limitations. He is only the strongest in the world, while the system, its power, penetrates all the worlds. There is no comparison between the two. Tony's eyes dropped slightly, and he expressed his opinion in the internal communication. Soon, it won the unanimous approval of others. The power of the system. It has been deeply imprinted in their hearts. But, Compared to these, there is something more important. Hulk's injuries. Although Hulk's body was snatched back by Quicksilver at great speed in the end, the serious injuries on his body were shocking. There were scars everywhere. His left arm was even destroyed by abomination during the battle, leaving only half of his sleeve, set, hanging empty on the left. The undetectable breath may even completely dissipate in the next moment. I don't have enough medical reserves. Tony sat on the ground dejectedly. Mark's battle suit is mainly equipped with weapons. The only remaining first aid potion has a very weak effect on Hulk's current situation and can almost be ignored. Don't look at me. Is it okay to use my crimson power for fighting, but for healing? Wanda shook her head, her meaning was self-evident. Soon, everyone looked at Dad. Unreasonable exorcism magic, unfathomable strength, in addition to the super standard system, Dad is undoubtedly the strongest person they have ever seen, and they all set their sights on him. Maybe he has a way. But, Dad shook his head. Hulk chose the righteous camp. As a companion on the front line, he definitely wanted to save people. But, I don't know healing magic. Dad spread his hands, feeling helpless in his frankness. That's right, in the anime. From beginning to end, Dad never showed the ability to heal. The white magic he mastered had no relevant effects, especially since Hulk was seriously injured and dying. This was not professional at all. He was a magician, not a priest. The people who were full of expectations felt as if a basin of cold water was poured down on them, cooling their hearts directly. That, what should we do? The good old Captain America felt Hulk's weak breathing, worry written on his face. Is there no other way? Tony also frowned, his expression a little solemn. The atmosphere of victory quickly turned dull, and Wanda and Quicksilver both frowned and expressed concern. It can't be saved, don't think about it, just wait to die. Fortunately among misfortunes, after three consecutive denials, he did not say it out of his father's mouth. Instead, he pushed up his beer bottle thick glasses and said solemnly, I can use magic to maintain his vital signs. But, if you want to save him, you must get other charms. The mysterious and powerful spell must have the power to help us. Dad frowned and spoke. He could only place his hope on the mysterious twelve talismans recorded in the classics. A horse charm. Tony's frown relaxed a little. Finally saw some hope. But, the problem is back to the beginning. Collect. Spell. However, the difficulty of collecting talismans should be much higher now. Quicksilver looked a little unhappy. Villain camps appear one after another. It is no longer a situation where they are the only one. The powerful postures of Bullseye and Abomination after being demonized undoubtedly left a deep impression on everyone. If Dad hadn't arrived in time, the demonized Abomination with the Ox Talisman could even destroy them all. And, Dad appears, but there are huge drawbacks. 
Original. Taking away the bold talisman from the demonized abomination, according to Cyclops's precedent, he can at least get an A-level rating. The rampaging abomination is no weaker than Thor. As a result, because of Dad's intervention, the ratings plummeted, and the system judged them to be D-level. They were treated as cheaters, and each person was given 200 points as a consolation prize. It's hard to say whether this result is good or bad. The only thing that's certain is. Not as a last resort. Dad must not be allowed to take action. The vast majority of recruits work hard to complete tasks, not only to save the world and prevent dark rewards, but also to obtain these miraculous, system rewards. No one can bear to have this kind of reward disappear before their eyes. It seems that I can only rely on myself. Captain America's heart sank, and several people gradually reached a consensus. This battle. It can be said that there is no winner. Bullseye's plan failed. Not only did he fail to grab the cow charm, he was defeated by his father and was defeated. Tony and his team didn't take advantage either. Although they won the battle, they didn't get the rewards of the side mission. Instead, Hulk was seriously injured and fell into a coma, in urgent need of the power of the spell to heal him. It can be said to be a lose-lose. Several people lowered their heads and looked a little dejected. No winner. Sushu raised his eyebrows, stretched out his hand, and a wisp of dark flame danced on his fingertips. It's hard to say whether there is a winner in both camps. Anyway, he didn't suffer. Not only did he receive a portion of the magic blessing, but he also received a copy of the cow talisman. In the pulsating black flames, the ultimate power is compressed a little, almost forming a substance. If people from the One Piece world were to look at it, they would mistake it for armed hockey every minute. That's right. Relying on the idea of the 6th marine style and the new ultimate power, he can already imitate the domineering effect of the armed color, and it may even be stronger than the original version. Ding. Recruiters obtain, demonic blessing fire. Increased by 100 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the origin of the demonic energy of fire. Ding. Side mission, collecting count talismans has been completed. Obtain the count talisman. Increased by 100 times. Congratulations to the host for getting the perfect version of power. The ability analyzed and strengthened from the cow talisman can maximize the user's power, and fully control all the power in the body, control it at will, and achieve perfection. Tisk. Not bad. Sushu raised her eyebrows with a satisfied smile on her face. Originally, he is still worried that the power of the talisman may be missing. After all, in such a huge world, after adding various variables, the 12 talismans may not be obtained by the recruiters. Don't forget, there are also members of the dragon team who are the protagonists of the original world. Did not expect. Even the talismans that Dad and the others found were judged by the system to be included in the rewards. As long as someone helps get the job done, he can obtain the corresponding perfect version of ability. This is so comfortable. Sushu relaxed and went to the sofa. He who has a bit of obsessive compulsive disorder, can finally relax and enjoy the battle. The petty quarrel is over. As the two camps gradually come to the stage, the confrontational posture becomes more and more clear, and the real competition is finally about to begin. Next. But it's not that easy. Su Shu shook her head and looked at the live broadcast with interest. Both camps emerged. The explosion of spells will begin. Three days later. In an ancient castle somewhere. Several demons with black flames lingering around their bodies, as if they had walked out of hell, were fighting fiercely with Wolverine. The scalding black flames and the immortal resilience compete fiercely. Just when the situation was getting tense. Everyone. I found the thing, let's go. Bullseye rushed up from the underground passage. In his hand, he held an antique shield preciously. There seemed to be something embedded in the center of the shield. Ding. Side mission, collect chicken charms, completed. Brief description, task evaluation, level B. Acquire normal ability, floating power. Can control objects to float at will and eliminate gravity on objects. Walk, several people in the demonic form directly took off with the black flames, turning into black dots and disappearing at the end of the sky. Two days later, Quest World, New York Museum. The exhibition hall, which was supposed to be bustling with activity, was now caught in the flames of war. 
Tony took over the local network, and various heavy firepowers were staged in the venue, bombing the Black Shadow Corps inside and the demonized Madame Gao. Under the saturation blow, even the ground was flattened by a few centimeters. Gentlemen, the drone has successfully retrieved the spell. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S rang in his ears, and the mechanical sound sounded very pleasant to him. Pretty. Tony snapped his fingers happily. Ding. Collect snake charms. Acquire normal ability, power of invisibility. It can make objects enter a state of invisibility and cannot be detected by the naked eye and instruments. Perception looks invisible, but actually exists. The sun rises and the moon sets. Another day comes to an end. Woo woo woo. On the train whizzing by. Dark shadows filled the sky, emerging from the shadows and transforming into ninja warriors. I found it, I found it. Dr. Octopus, waving eight mechanical arms, raised his head excitedly from the warehouse, holding a stone amulet tightly in his hand. The light cyan paint outlines a simple sheet pattern on the surface of the stone. Ding. Collect sheep talismans. Acquire normal ability, spiritual power. Allows the user to have the ability to leave the soul. Spells appear one after another in every corner of the world. It completely detonated the atmosphere and became the center of competition among the recruits, attracting countless people to compete for it. The smell of gunpowder in the mission world is getting stronger and stronger. Just half a month, numerous battles broke out. The fierce confrontation and cool pictures dazzled the people outside the screen and said they were extremely satisfied. Talismans appear one after another, change hands, and succeed. After completing the task, the ability generously rewarded by the system is even more eye-opening to the melon eaters and they call them awesome. Besides, the system behaved like a wholesale company and distributed gold finger, which made the whole place even more shocked. The experience of this little half month. For many people, it feels like a world away. Three views have been refreshed more than once. Old Street. Antique Store. As the place where the recruits first come into contact with the main line, this place has been used by the recruits who have chosen the righteous camp as a resting place similar to a spring and a safe zone. Almost every time I finish a mission, I come back here to gather or discuss action plans. Reason. Don't look at this antique store, it looks ordinary. Inside, there's dad squatting. The unreasonable white magic is their inner confidence, which can be called the last resort. With the almost invincible father here, the safety here is needless to say. It is definitely a rear area where people can let down their guard. Click. The antique shop door opens. Tony turned off the battle suit's thrusters and walked in from the outside. Tony. How was the harvest? Do you have any clues? Captain America, who was busy in the store, raised his head, looked over, and said quickly. No. Tony shook his head. These days, each talisman has appeared, and the two camps have been fiercely competing for it. The ownership of the talismans varies, but what is certain is that among the many talismans that have appeared, there is no one with the ability to heal. How's dad? Have you found any relevant clues? Quicksilver opened the door and came back from outside with several scars on his body. Dad. Captain America shook his head, the result was equally frustrating. Ever since he brought Hulk back to the antique shop after the battle in the central square, Dad had dived into his ancient books, trying to find relevant clues in the thick classics. While they were fighting over the chicken charm, Dad was looking for information. While they were chasing Bullseye, Dad was looking up information. While they were having a fierce battle with the demonic camp, Dad was still searching for information. After working so hard, I still got nothing. Captain America has almost given up on this direction. What's the current situation? Captain America forcibly interrupted his inner depression, raised his head, and asked about business. Very bad. Quicksilver's expression was solemn and he spoke with a sinister look on his face. As the fastest in the team, he has been exposed to the most battles and has the best understanding of the enemy's strength. Our advantage is almost equal. Cyclops helped Wolverine over, with Thor and Jean walking behind. Everyone looked ugly. Original. The three to zero crushing situation, with the demonic camp constantly approaching, was about to be tied. Racing list. Spell collection progress. Devil, 4 twelfths. Junchi, 5 twelfths. Compared with the respective rankings on the list, what is more concerning is that it is obviously the demonic camp. 
the collection progress is constantly approaching. Not only has it achieved zero breakthrough, but it has also advanced by leaps and bounds, almost being tied. The entry reward for the demonic camp is too strong. Tony pursed his lips and frowned. Money and silk touch people's hearts. Who wouldn't be tempted by demonized weapons and a click to send them away? Compared to the righteous camp's apparent reward of 500 points, the villains gave them too much. Who doesn't want to be like Abomination, reincarnate and become a big boss? Then long-term interests. Many self-aware recruits decisively chose demonic energy and were seduced by the powerful temptation of demonized weapons. As for justice, evil, adults who care about this anymore. If the decision hadn't been made in advance and couldn't be changed, even Quicksilver would have been tempted to jump ship. HMPH. He's not that picky. Quicksilver was a little angry and unhappy. He glanced at the attic from the corner of his eye and found that his father had not come down before he dared to complain quietly. Later, among the large number of recruits who entered, it's not like no one is impressed by dad and their power and wants to choose the righteous camp. But, dad is not happy. Faced with the surrender of Kingpin and several of his men, he refused directly and said, righteousness is not a place for evil and evil. A bad guy with blood and sin on his hands can never be an unscrupulous messenger. Then, while saying, don't even think about deceiving him casually, he deployed his magic and directly blasted these people out. With his flexible skills, he can't even pull me back. This caused many recruits who were waiting and watching to defect directly, causing the demonic camp to greatly increase in strength. And those warriors, those miscellaneous fish who can emerge from the shadows. Four snorted coldly. These ninja warriors are everywhere, seemingly everywhere, and they are quite troublesome. The strength cannot be said to be strong, that is, it is at the level of a miscellaneous fish. He can kill dozens of them with his casual flat A. But, there are just too many. And, still elusive. There are so many of them all over the mountains and plains, and their pervasive nature makes them so powerful for finding talismans. Several times, they were given the upper hand by the demonic camp because of the ghost core. Take advantage of the war to snatch it, or even transfer the spell in advance. In this regard, I suffered the loss of the boss. If I meet them again, I will definitely crush them into little cakes. Thor clenched his fists, anger written on his face. Ah, just stop talking. Anyway, you got a charm, unlike me, who got nothing. Quicksilver rolled his eyes and complained. He is the worst. Other small groups have gained more or less, but the two brothers and sisters are still bald and have nothing. Quicksilver looked at Thor with envy and jealousy. Others couldn't hide their envy on their faces. Although the ability obtained by Thor is not a combat expertise, it does not have dazzling effects. But, the effect can definitely drive countless people into madness. Immortality. That's right. Thor was in Bavaria, somewhere in the wall behind a windmill, and what he got was the dog charm. After wielding Mjolnir and smashing several demonized recruits away, he easily completed the task with his absolute strength. Normal ability, power of immortality. Allows the user to possess the regenerative healing factor, which can stay youthful and immortal, the body will always be young, never die, be immune to fatal injuries, and avoid death and prolong life. Not only does it have the same regenerative healing factor as Wolverine, but it also has an infinite lifespan, keeping you young forever, and you don't have to worry about the end of your lifespan. The powerful effect made countless people jealous. If it weren't for the inability to snatch the system rewards, Thor would have almost become the target of a fight from both camps. Just as everyone secretly gritted their teeth. I'm not happy with this guy's bad luck. Tread. 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 There was a sudden sound from the stairs at the corner. The father held a thick tone with an excited look on his face. He raised the book in his hand and said excitedly, found it. The noble horse can drive away all external forces. If you can get the power of the horse charm, you can definitely cure him easily. Dad raised his head proudly and said decisively. He has great faith in spells. Horse charm. Expelling internal and external forces. Treat. Everyone heard the sound and looked over, just as they were deep in thought. Tony suddenly received a message. Gentlemen. An object suspected to be a charm was found. The virtual projection that J-A-R-V-I-S pops up is a temple in the snowy mountains. In the vast white snow, there is a bright light shining in a place. 
If you zoom in, you can see that it is a charm. On the stone surface, purple paint outlines the pattern of a horse. Horse charm, several people said in unison. Unexpectedly, it was such a coincidence that the horse charm they were looking for suddenly appeared. This spell must succeed, Tony said in a cold voice, with a look of determination on his face. Everyone who reached an agreement put aside their differences and chose to act together. Using Quicksilver's extreme speed as a link, he takes everyone there together. No matter what, first grab this talisman that is suspected of healing power. This is the only hope to rescue Hulk, and it is also their logistical support. With the sincere cooperation of everyone. Result. Definitely self-explanatory. Big success. Thor's strength, Cyclops' laser, and Quicksilver's extreme speed are absolutely invincible. Especially. With Tony taking the upper hand. Charm. Got it. Chin, who came back from the snowy mountains, held the horse charm in her hand, with joy written on her face. She had the best luck and found her target in the vast white snow. But, not surprisingly, the overwhelming push from the righteous camp brought the evaluation of this mission to the lowest level. Task Evaluation, C Level. Acquire Deterioration Ability, Healing Power. But, fortunately, the horse charm, which repels external forces, was not affected. Buzz. Jean placed her hands on Banner, activating the power of the spell. From the healing power of the horse talisman. Under everyone's eagerly anticipated gaze, Banner's body began to light up with a dazzling white light. The white light flashed away. When he appeared in front of and behind the field of vision again, he was covered with bruises and instantly became unscathed. The wounds disappeared, breathing returned to normal, and even the face became rosy and healthy. The arms that turned into fly ash reappeared, intact, as if they had never been injured. And this change before and after happened in the blink of an eye. Me, am I okay? Banner opened his eyes blankly, unable to react to what was happening to him. The seriously injured and dying body will be restored to its original state. This speed, it's too fast. Banner couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Even he himself felt it was outrageous. And, there haven't been any side effects yet. This unscientific. No, it's more than just an injury. Tony shook his head, his eyes a little solemn. After being reborn, he could feel that the originally restless personality in Banner's body seemed to have become stable and suppressed, and the original sense of crisis like a time bomb suddenly disappeared. The other one, the Hulk personality residing in his body, seemed to be suppressed, even. Expulsion. Tony spoke hesitantly, with a bit of horror in his eyes. He couldn't help but think of his father's words. A proud horse can expel all external forces in the body. Remove all external forces from the body. Ancient one's pupils shrank. A look of horror finally appeared on her Gujing Wubo face. 7. She, in order to live forever and protect the safety of the earth. He has been absorbing the power of darkness and gaining power from the dark dimension. After so many years of absorbing dark energy, the dark power accumulated in her body was tempting her to fall into darkness all the time. Dot dot dot. The power of the horse charm can expel the power of darkness in the body, which is definitely good news for her. Feeling the darkness that was constantly eroding inside his body, Ji Yi couldn't help but pinch his eyebrows. There is a lingering sadness between his eyebrows. As for, can the horse talisman do this? It can suppress the Hulk personality in his body and prevent Banner from being affected by negative forces. The horse talisman can expel all external forces from the body, and its effect is not limited to treating injuries. 810, noble horse. Remove all external forces from the body. Odin whispered. A low voice sounded out in the empty golden palace. If, the horse charm can not only heal injuries, but its real effect is to expel all external forces from the body. That, does it mean that if the power of the talisman is blessed on him, in addition to repairing the hidden wounds left by years of battle, it can also keep his body in a healthy state permanently. For the Asgard God Kings, as time goes by, the power of the God Kings in his body becomes more and more powerful. In his twilight years, Odin's strength is at its most terrifying, but correspondingly, the surge in power has also brought extreme changes to his body. The heavy burden forced him to rely on the eye of Odin to repair his body. The blessing of the dog charm. Granting Thor almost infinite life. 
What if we could solve this problem, so that the body would not be eroded by power and could only enjoy strong power? Odin's eyes narrowed. The body's instinct is faster than the mind, and it explodes with all its strength in an instant to achieve a master's degree. Combustion. Everything. Seize the horse talisman at any cost. Meteor. Falling from the sky. In an instant, it penetrated the nine realms and reached Midgard. The bright stream of light shines directly on the screen on Tianyu, and the terrifying energy fluctuations make people unable to open their eyes. Then, what's going on? Modu pointed at the sky. Not only was his body trembling, but his voice was also vibrating. Even from a very long distance. You can also feel the power that seems to penetrate the world. It's him. He took action. Ancient One's expression was solemn, and his calm expression turned into solemnity. Who is he? Modo turned his head curiously. Lord of Asgard in the Nine Realms. God King, Gong. In the empty holy place, only deep voices echoed. Odin. He finally couldn't hold it in any longer. Mephisto spewed out sparks, and the air was filled with the sulfur smell of hell. There is a fearful look in the big copper bell eyes. Co Lord of the Nine Realms. God King of Asgard. Odin's godly name is definitely not blown out but a domineering and prestigious name forged through bloody battles, conquests, and countless worlds stained with the flames of war. It was forged with blood and fire. It was only because of aging and approaching twilight that he sheathed his sword and assumed the identity of a kind old man. However, as a strong man of the same era, no one could forget his terror. Mephisto, definitely is no exception. Now, will this dormant lion in his twilight years also wake up? God declares. In my name, I hereby declare that this gun will hit. It will pierce. It will kill. Odin wears destroyer armor. Various divine blessings appeared alternately on his body, a terrifying aura slanted out, and the runes representing the truth of the world flashed alternately. This was a suffocating aura that even Loki had seen for the first time. He, so strong, Loki's pupils shrank, with a look of horror on his face especially when he unexpectedly learned about his life experience, the horror in his heart soared. The plot that was about to be launched was like a basin of cold water poured down on him, disappearing in an instant. Under this kind of power, any conspiracy or trick is just a trick of the Joker. Penetrating Meteor. Crushed Loki's ambition. Didi. Didi. Super high risk energy fluctuations discovered. Energy level detection, equivalent to the explosion of 80 million tons of TNT explosives, DD. Detection error, energy level rising. On the center console, all kinds of data are soaring, and the energy level fluctuations displayed are simply scary. 80 million tons. Nick Fury almost cried out in horror. To know, among the known nuclear weapons, this is the most powerful nuclear weapon that has ever been tested. It is called the human weapon of the Tsar bomb by the Western world. It is only 50 million tons, which is equivalent to a little boy 3,800 times fatter, 2,300 times fatter. And, the values on the dashboard are still soaring exponentially. In a moment, the maximum detection range was exceeded 0. A large number of instruments went down instantly. Meteors streak across the sky. It seems to be going through the sky and reaching another world. Anyone with insight can feel the terror of this power. That's right, a big boss has taken action. EXXX. I don't know who took action, but his goal is obvious. Astonishingly, it was the invasion system that suddenly appeared. The bright meteors shot towards the light curtain in the sky, as if they wanted to penetrate the screen and enter another world to vent their terrifying power. This is the first time since the advent of the intrusion system that a top boss has taken action. Take action. It's a sure kill. Ite. Will it succeed? Countless melon eaters looked at the sky, almost forgetting to breathe, and their faces turned red, waiting for the result to be born. Tesseract, very similar wave, has the power to penetrate space. Nick Fury stares intently at the analytics panel. Various data emerge alternately. In the fluctuations covered by heavy radiance, an artifact with intertwined and flashing runes could be vaguely seen, shaped like a spear, or a spear. The mysterious runes seem to have many similarities and overlaps with the words on Thor's hammer. Nick Fury's eyes lit up, as if he thought of something. Dot dot dot. What if he really did it? Maybe it's really possible. 
Nick Fury stared at the sky, reluctant to blink. He, an atheist who does not believe in God, rarely puts his hope in the gods. Pity. Become a world of 5.1 people. Miracles never exist. Odin put all his strength into a desperate attack, or test. It hit Tianyu's big screen brazenly. Result. No impact at all. It was like being hit in another dimension, like a mirror in the water, the attack was in vain. There wasn't even the slightest ripple. Don't talk about breaking into the system. Not even temptation can do it. 15. Facing the bottomless abyss. It's not an order of magnitude at all. Unexpectedly. X. Odin's pupils were shaking, and the destroyer armor covered with countless divine blessings could not give him any comfort. He gave him a blow with all his strength, but this was the result. Looking at the eternal spear, which had exhausted its power and gradually dispersed, Odin felt a rare sense of decadence, even, powerlessness. His attack, it's like throwing an axe at the sky. Arrogant and ridiculous. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.